Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the East Coast Studio. I am your host, Roby Tech, and today we are, uh, well, we're not getting Twitch chat, so uh, we're going and we are going to be playing with Falcon Northwest's brand new Tiki. Really excited about this because this is an RTX 4080 with a 13900, and we also have the RG Ally with the XP Mobile GPU. So right now I'm going to try and figure out why I can't see chat because it's lame. I'll see if I can bring it up right here so you guys can see everything because just in case the YouTube folks are not going in there, but I guess I, I don't see everybody and I don't know why it's not working. So I'm going to reopen and hopefully this will work. So what is going on, everybody? It's super happy. I'm super happy to see you guys all and uh, go from there. Oh, hey, okay. I see some people. Looks like subs are happening already, all that sort of stuff. So welcome, everybody. Uh, this is, it's always different when I'm not in a home studio because we're going to, you know, for, for today, we still have the 250 like YouTube and we still, I'm sorry, the music is a bit loud, okay. This is always the fun part. Got to figure out the music and the audio and all that sort of stuff. How's that? Is that better? Is that better? I turned it down a little bit. Hey, what's up Kurosaki? Your volume is really low. Okay, well, let's fix that. This is always the fun part. We'll get there, guys. Well, that's already masked, okay? Okay, let's, does that help? Does, I turned it, wait, ooh, that's turn, oh, sorry. How's, is that better? How's that? There we go, I think I figured out how to. Five by five, okay, two by, yes, but you are low too, okay. The case is amazing, there we go. Okay, everybody can hear me. Hey, I'm figuring this stuff out because obviously we have more, we have more, uh, you know, setup and all that sort of stuff as we go. But what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show, Hidden Attribute. Good, okay, so I see Twitch, I see YouTube, I, I, I see Kick. Looks like everybody's coming through. How does it sound otherwise? Uh, hello, hello. Okay, so anyway, some super fun today. I figured, you know what, honestly, just for the sake of being awesome, having a good time, let's give away, let's, uh, let's do a GPU giveaway today. So we're just gonna give away a, uh, we'll give away a 3060, just because, you know, let's just have some fun, give away a GPU, you guys hang out. So I'm gonna put in the chat right now, we're gonna do GPU giveaway for everybody to come in here and just do it. So why not? We're just gonna, why not? We're gonna do a GPU giveaway, GPU giveaway and more, and then go from there. Cause we want, we want people to come in, we want people to see this epic stuff. So we're gonna just give away a 3060, uh, just because. Or maybe, you know, actually we'll give away a, we'll give away a 6600. Yeah, let's do that. We'll give away a 6600. Well, something a little bit more powerful. So give away GPU giveaway here. And then we'll go from there. GPU giveaway. And then you guys are going to come and see something super epic with the stuff from there. And then we'll, uh, we'll change the uh, title back from there. But it's good. Let's go. It's everybody. I'm sorry we couldn't stream on Tuesday because... We had to, uh, we had to, uh, we had to, uh, had it a little issue. So I, I, it's, we're getting it fixed. Let me get this fixed and then we'll, we'll just have fun. GPU giveaway. Okay, there we go. Okay, whew. I think we got it now. Everything's all squared and we're good to go. All right, so anyway, we're gonna give away a GPU. I'll tell you what, if we, the more subs we get, maybe we'll upgrade that GPU. If you guys do a bunch of subs, we'll just keep upgrading the GPU as we go throughout today. So just to make it super epic. And you know what, who knows, maybe we'll give away a 3080, whatever. You guys basically kind of lock the epicness that is the GPU giveaway. But regardless, we're gonna give away 30, we're gonna give away a 6600 just because uh, we got AMD here and then we got, we got Falcon Northwest here and all that sort of stuff. So you guys basically just, if you, if you make it rain, I'll make it rain and we'll go from there. And then again, 250 subs gets us 200, 250 likes, uh, gets us a $25 new gift card uh, just because. So welcome everybody, welcome to the show. Let's kick it off the right way. So you might be asking, Ruby, what are you doing on the East Coast? Well, we're doing some really epic stuff. Uh, Super uh, Spider-Man uh, and Zotac just recently did a collaboration. So we're here down here uh, showing off and doing a video for the new Spider-Man collaboration. If you are one of the Discord subs you saw, uh, the video that we showed um, where we're doing some really epic, cool stuff. So you'll get to so surprise. You have some really cool videos to look forward to. I'm not going to share, share anything more than that. Um, and then the last thing too is that uh, we're shooting some really cool stuff for Intel. And then uh, we're also shooting, uh, we just got finished shooting up some, uh, shooting some really neat stuff for NZXT. So it was an epic time. We're wrapping up that. I'll be back 
uh, for a day on the West Coast, uh, just in time to stream that Corsair 2000D stream. We're gonna do a full build of that. Uh, then I jump on a plane and I head to Dallas to hang out with BMOC and Zystan and Igor. We're gonna be hanging out there, uh, hanging out at the LAN, uh, streaming from the LAN, all that sort of stuff. So you guys will be having some gaming and all that sort of stuff happening right from IAM Dallas. And then finally I'm back for a couple weeks before we head to Miami to do a really cool epic collaboration with Corsair Origin uh, from Miami. So there'll be some streams down there as well. But you guys have a couple weeks of just normal streams here from the Roby Tech folks. OG Gamers, thank you for the sub. PPP. BP, thank you for the sub. Conga Maniac, thank you for the sub. Um, so thank you very much for all those subs. And again, if regardless of getting away at 3060 today, but if you guys want to, you guys want to upgrade that to something super epic, just make subs happen, and we'll just keep upgrading it from there, right? And so as we start going through this, just think of it as like once we get through the the new A GPU, the CPUs, I'll just start. Sorry, new A gift cards. We'll start throwing in and upgrading it to a 6700, and a 6800, and then a 3080. So yeah. Uh, if we're gonna do this, we'll start with the, we'll, let's do it. What do you guys think? Let people vote, 3060 or 6600. You guys vote and then we'll go from there. Um, and uh, we'll just let you guys choose if we're gonna give away a 3060 or a 6600. You guys make the choice. Um, what else is going on? Well, what is really exciting is this right here. Because people who don't know, we have done a bunch of Falcon Northwest content before. And it started with the Falcon Northwest Talon, uh, which we had, the, it was one of the first 7950 systems we actually showed off. You guys got to see how incredibly silent it is. They're on a whole nother level in terms of building, et cetera. Um, and so uh, we started with that. And then the second one we got was the Frag Box. And that was a 13900K with an RTX 4090 in it. Uh, it was about the size, it was a bit bigger than the laptop, but much longer. Uh, and that was literally like a carry around um, kind, of, uh, kind of desktop. But this is something we've been really excited about. This is the Falcon Northwest Tiki. And this has a 13900 and an RTX 4080 in it. And this will be my new LAN PC. So this will be traveling with me all over the United States for things like QuakeCon, IEM. Um, and essentially it is a, it is a portable gaming system uh, that is built like a tank. But because of the fine folks at Asus, what we have is one of the first US, and I'm the only I think myself and Linus are the only people who have this card, and I have the first one that you guys have seen working right here. It's the ProArt RTX 4080. It is a dual slot RTX 4080 card. So it makes builds like this possible, uh, where um, you know you think about the fractal ridge and all that sort of stuff. But again, this is much smaller than that. You can actually almost do two fractal ridges, I mean two tiki's inside of a fractal ridge in terms of just uh, space. Um, so what this is cap what this unlocks. Now, when you think about you know uh, cases like um, the uh, like the uh, NR200P or uh, even um, even stuff like your uh, H1 or whatever it was, you can actually put an RTX 4080 in it, which before the only option was a 7900 XT or 7900 XTX. Not that that's a bad thing because those are fantastic cards, but still there's something to be said about ray tracing and all that sort of stuff. So where we were from single player guys, where you still have that little bit of a gap between the 7900 XTX and the ray tracing performance in the RTX 4080. This just hasn't been possible on the Nvidia side until now. And it took a crap ton of engineering on Asus's part. So we'll We'll tear this apart and show that off at the same time. So there's that part. The second thing is this, which I think this is the first time this has been streamed. This is the ROG Ally. Uh, this is, uh, this is you know, given that we, Asus is in here and they were a huge part of us letting me be one of the first people to show this off. We also want to show this off, uh, which is the ROG Ally. It's the new portable from Asus ROG. Um, it is in pre-order state right now. Um, we just got ours in from AMD. Uh, and then the other two that we also show off is we have the XG Mobile here beside it because that's one thing that people don't necessarily know where this is potentially a leg up over what you have on the Steam Deck. This is an RTX 3080 mobile GPU that plugs in via their special port uh, that then basically uh, powers the, what is it, a very powerful mobile, sorry, it's not a mobile, it's a, a very powerful APU version of uh, the um, AMD processor and then gives it the power of a 3080 in it, which is a huge boost over how this performs. And then again, you can still use it in handheld mode and all that stuff. We're gonna try it. It's, it, you know, this may not be fully baked yet, so we're gonna try it out, but regardless, we wanna show this off on the, on the website, or sorry, on the stream, because you guys haven't seen that yet either. So um, it's awesome, it's, it's cool, we're gonna have, we're gonna show you guys a lot of stuff. Yes, it's not a build, but at the same time, a lot of people still do pre-builds, and I wanna give you guys some options, especially with the, the land season coming up, we're getting ready to go into summer, we've got Quake Gone, IEM, DreamHack, 
Uh, we've got TwitchCon coming up, all these other ones. So if you're looking for a PC, that might be a good option for taking to a con or even in a portable situation where you may not have the desk space. That's where something like this can be so impressive, uh, you know, for like Diablo 4 or Starfield or um, even, you know, uh, well, maybe Gollum. I have Gollum on here. Uh, you know, just to make games run uh, the way that you want them to, but not necessarily have them take up a ton of room on your desk. So that is, uh, that is what's happening today. It should be a lot of fun. And then at the same time, we're gonna give away a 3060 or see which one do we choose? Looks like 3060. We're gonna give away a 3060. And then if you guys just make it rain subs, that could grow from there. So uh, we'll, uh, why don't my, why don't my, uh, my, uh, my beautiful text work with Blondie to figure out what the upgrade path is. And then we'll just, uh, every 50 or so subs, uh, after we get past 100 subs, uh, then we'll start upgrading the GPU. And then maybe we'll give away a 3090 today on the stream. Who knows? So you guys go to, yeah, I know, poor, poor Gollum. Apparently it's terrible. So who knows, you guys, it might be an absolutely epic stream and you guys might, might see something absolutely incredible on today's show. The other thing that's going to be up and interesting uh, as well is what are we going to play? Because, um, you know, we are going to do 3D Mark. We are going to show all that stuff off as well. Um, but I also want to figure out what kind of game we want to play at the very end. I've got a bunch of games installed. Maybe we try Golem. I mean, because it is something new, uh, but trying to figure out something else. I know, uh, and, and maybe there's some other game that we can play for a little bit at the very end of the stream and just have some fun. So, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Golem is uh, interesting to say the least. Um, well, good, Road Guy. You're going to see a lot about the Tiki and all that sort of stuff today. So, sounds like fun. How, outside of that, how have you guys been? I mean, Returnal, Last of Us. Okay, those are some good options. But how have you guys been otherwise? I, I'm, I'm super stoked to have you guys here. Welcome. I, I'm sorry again about Tuesday. How are my favorite people? How's my community today? Uh, it's good to see you. If you come to the East Coast Studio the weekend of Halloween, maybe you can swing by. Uh, uh, oh, in Atlanta. So, Kurosaki... I fly through Atlanta usually when I come out to the East Coast, so I'm in the I'm in the the, the uh, Washington D.C. area right now. Uh, but yeah, maybe that's something we can extend. We are if you are in the Dallas area um, over the course of this next weekend, it's a great meet and greet time to meet me. Um, I can find some time maybe outside, maybe Zeiston or whatever. We can find a location for us to go get some dinner if a bunch of people want to meet up and just do a dinner with uh, the Roby Tech Communicate. Just let me know or let Blondie know, and we can coordinate that. Uh, as well, because we will be in the IEM Dallas area uh, starting next week. Spider Solitaire, Grant says. Okay, that feels like a little bit of a step down for what we might do. But yeah, we could do dinner with Roby uh, if you guys are in the Texas area. Meet in Greek. No, not meet in Greek. Meet and geek. Oh, jeez, I said meet and geek. Meet and greet, Kurosaki. Meet and greet. Um, and I'm sorry, guys, we don't have dog cam. We are in the middle of a production right now, so no dog cam today, so I apologize for no dog cam. But the dogs are here. They're just busy upstairs, so. But it's good to see everybody. Anything else going on? Any, any other special stuff going on? Uh, any other things that you guys uh, want to chat about before we, get, before we get too into it? I mean, there's been a lot of stuff. I mean, on the, on the, uh, on the news front, we've got the whole thing with the PlayStation going on right now. Um, on the, uh, on the uh, you know, with the PlayStation handheld, the Project Q. Uh, we had some good announces out of PlayStation, which most of those titles are coming to PC. Um, we've had the whole, I mean, it feels like the 7950X3D debacle is kind of behind us. The 4060 Ti is still kind of happening uh, in terms of people uh, just seeing just how overpriced, you know, that kind of card is right now. But, um, oh, dude, Mosey Martinez celebrating his 13th anniversary. That's awesome. PC works from Taiwan. Holy moly, dude. Okay, so everybody knows Tim is here and he's currently uh, chilling at Computex uh, in Taiwan. So there he goes. Uh, he was coming, uh, basically uh, coming in there, dropping it like it's hot. Thank you very much, Tim, for dropping uh, five gifted subs, getting people stoked. Uh, have you have you done any Taiwan? Have you done any? Have you seen anything from Computex yet? So I'm guessing no. Yeah, Diablo Four is fast approaching next week. Six six, right? Oh, we got C Boys dropping a, a gifted sub right there again, guys. Remember, all we got to do is get above 100, and then we'll start giving away some. We'll start upgrading the GPUs. Um, let's see what else is going in there. Uh, anything else? It's an Oslo. Why is the Gerald Ford? Oh, the Gerald Ford is up in Oslo. Oh, well, that's you know that's the brand new carrier uh, for the brand new uh, the first of the Gerald Ford class uh, aircraft carriers. That's crazy. I didn't know it was up there. Uh, I'm about to go hall to set up. Okay, so you're go. Oh, so it's Monday morning. So you're going down the hall to set up. When does it officially open, Tim? 
And today is Abby's birthday. That's right, she is 12. Okay, so let's sing happy birthday to Abby because, you know, obviously it's Tom's daughter. Najia dropping a gifted sub. Thank you much, my friend. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Abby. Happy birthday to you. Are you still streaming on YouTube? Haven't heard a peep. It's still, I'm streaming on YouTube, right? There are people there, right? Najia Steam Tech, thank you very much for the sub. Um, is it, did, is YouTube live? I think people, yeah, I see people on the YouTube. It's on the right channel, right? You have to be on, you have to be on the right video because I have the video for next week already up. Yeah, okay, it's live, okay, verified. It is live and GPU. And remember guys, we are giving away a GPU today, which should be good. Thank you very much, drummer, drummer I appreciate that. Um, okay. Well, do you guys want to talk about the Falcon Northwest Tinky? Are you guys ready to get started? Thank you very much, PC Guy, for doing the thumbs up. How are we doing likes on YouTube? We don't have a, not a, quite enough people here, but hopefully it grows and goes, uh, keeps going. Hey, Yawning Salmon dropping his gifted sub as well. And the hype train is going. Now, guys, level five hype train. Remember, we get that. We get level five. We give away another $25 new egg gift card, remember? So... Uh, it's it's gonna get we're already at level three. Let's make it happen and remember as you're doing the tr the subs You could potentially be unlocking brand new. We're giving away a 3060. So 3060 is down already So let's make it happen. You're very welcome, Abby. Happy birthday. So let's see. Can we get to level five? Let's start getting that hype going and then we'll go from there and then we'll get started on our uh, We'll get started on our Tiki right after that um, I'm trying to think of any other news. Anything else that we should talk about, guys, that you guys are interested in? This is your, this is your show, too. At least it should have more VRAM than the 4080 Ti. The 4060 Ti. Oh. I feel like I missed a comment from Org. <clears throat> oh, wow. We have somebody from... Uh, NVIDIA stock, well, that's because... Mayhi, that's because of... <laughs> that's because of AI. Yeah, it seems, it seems like that. Oh, uh, it seems like the AI, the whole AI situation has been kind of crazy right now. So uh, with uh, them getting a big boost um, from AI in general, people are basically saying NVIDIA is, uh, NVIDIA is uh, the making GPUs is a side hustle at this point in time. Have you had the chance with a play? Yes, I've actually played with it quite a bit. We'll, we'll show some of that here on the show, Lone Wolf. We've got one right here. I think it's still working with the XG Mobile. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna try and disconnect this and then see what happens. I'm just playing with this why you guys guys remember we got to get the we got to get that score up Let's get to level five see if this if it's done updating it was processing Okay, I think it did I don't know well was, maybe it's good. Well, it says it's fine now Is the future of AI's good? Oh, yeah, that's right. Tina Turner died. I didn't know that. Is the future of AI good for PCs? I don't know. Um, it'll be interesting to see. It feels like there's going to be uh, where AI is going to be pretty promising uh, when you think about gaming uh, is specifically in uh, NPC conversations and stuff like that, though. You know, the thing we always got to be careful for is we don't want to have like a bunch of narrative designers uh, not be able to enjoy or uh, not enjoy, but lose their jobs because they feel like AI is going to replace them. Um, but I feel like AI can do stuff where we have situations where you needed a massive staff to fill in a bunch of dialogue and stuff where AI can actually create um, very human-like uh, human -like conversations and then curate that uh, with a single designer versus having to hire a ton of ones where that wasn't a potential or outside of budget for some of the smaller indie games. So I feel like AI has a lot of potential for indie games. We just hope very much so that it's not something you see people abuse. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. And then again, yeah, well, I mean, we'll see what AI does. Like the other thing too that'll be interesting is you think of like similar to, you know, let's let's take a little step back and I'm gonna go in there. Guys, one minute and 40 seconds. Let's get, let's see, can we get level five hype train and give away more GPUs, guys? That would be epic. Um, but I'm, while I'm jumping through this, let me talk about what else could be really cool. And uh, is if you think about the progression of games, even before things like GPUs, um, but right, you know, really early on, you know, back in the 80s when PCs came out, you had like 
the addition of the Sound Blaster card, right? And everybody was all about sound. At that point in time, graphics were you know, completely capable or integrated in terms of what they could essentially do. And then after sound kind of became like a mainstream thing, next thing that kind of came out was you know, GPUs, right? So you had like the Voodoo, uh, the 3D effects, the Voodoo, and then you had your GPUs. And then once that kind of, you know, now that that's kind of settled, the other thing that might be interesting is maybe now what you aren't buying is just graphics cards, but you're also buying AI cards, right? Where you are, you know, just like, just like graphics, uh, these are additional add-in cards um, that you use to unlock, you know, the higher end features and they might come stock with gaming PCs um, just like they do um, nowadays, right? So these become add-in cards. They aren't just basically integrated into GPUs or something like that as well. So, I mean, this is a world, a new world. Guys, we're, we're 20 seconds, let's see, 10 seconds. Uh, if we wanna unlock that, we, this, is the, this is the opportunity um, I, to get level five. Remember, it unlocks another giveaway. Regardless, we're gonna give away 3060 today, so that'll be fun for you guys. Um, 3D AI, anything like that could be super, super cool. Hey, Dirk, he did it. Oh, did he take us all the way there? Oh, oh, and the hype train gets it. He dry, he dropped five gifted subs, but it wasn't quite enough, and we get it to. But thank you, Derek, for coming in clutch. It still gets us closer to uh, unlocking a higher end uh, giveaway later on. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, so anyway, Dirk, 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 I appreciate it. Close but no cigar. Um, so anyway, that could be that could be an interesting situation right there. That could be an interesting situation right there, where um, you know you end up with AI buying AI add-in cards. Um, that, you know, again, you start end up with developers getting that, you know, as well. So, and then you, maybe you get base level stuff with, you know, CPUs or even with GPUs, but if you really want, you know, the, all the bells and whistles for it, this could be another potential op option as well. So could be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I think of AI and games. Uh, is the 4060 Ti and 7600 as bad as reviews say? And how about nobody wants the 4060 Ti? Um, okay, so let me... Let me put it this way. The 4060 Ti is not a bad card. The 4060 Ti at 399 is a bad card. The th the, the, so the 7600 isn't a bad card. I think the 7600, people are just pissed off that uh, it dropped in price to the way it was. And people are super concerned that eight gigabytes of VRAM uh, is a problem. Um, and so what you have is like, you have, you have a couple things. One, you have companies, so, let me take a step back. Here's the problem. On the Xbox Series S, uh, sorry, on the Xbox Series X and on the PlayStation 5, they have what's called a unified memory architecture. Both the CPU and the GPU share memory. On the PlayStation 5, it's 16 gigs. On the Xbox Series X, I think it's 12 gigs. It might be 10. I think it's 12. But regardless, the problem is, is that nowadays with most games and all of those being AMD in general, most games having such a large pool of RAM to pull from, as PC developers are porting those games because they're console developing first, which is actually a little bit of a change, uh, as they're porting those games back to PC, the amount of VRAM that is now on certain GPUs like uh, the, old, the, like the more budget-friendly 7,000, 7,600, or the 4060 Ti, where eight gigs just isn't enough. Now, I do feel it's a little bit unfair because the fact of the matter is, is that there is some lazy development costs where developers need to do a better job specifically on optimizing PCs for, I mean, p optimizing games for eight gigs of RAM. Because the other thing too is what people don't get, and I mean, here's a great example. Look at the difference between a 16 gig and a 32 gig kit of RAM. Now, the way that the GPUs do them, these aren't DRAM or DIMMs or anything like that. They're actually individual chips that have to be soldered on. And the overall cost of those parts and switching the architecture and all that sort of stuff is actually significantly more expensive. And so what you see is you actually see developers because of their inability to basically optimize for lower end cards are, published, are, are essentially punishing entry level PC users. And the fact of the matter is, is that most of those guys, 3060s, 1060s, 10, those are your, that's, if you look at the Steam hardware server, survey, that's most gamers, right? 
And so they may look at it and be like, why? And they don't understand VRAM. Let's be clear. Like most people don't get to understand VRAM. But here's the problem is that they think that their games, their stuff sucks. And it's actually honestly the developer's job to do a better job of porting the dang game so everybody can enjoy it. So that's the first problem is that what you have is you have a bunch of tech tubers on a freaking high horse right now who just want something negative to go and bang on. Uh, instead of saying like, you need to have 10 gigs because this is where development's going right now. And I don't think that's fair. I feel like some, in some regards, you do have to do a better job of, of punishing game developers or honing game developers who are apologizing because they do do a very good job of porting the dang game in the first place. I think that's problem number one. Because A, I think that any time where you look at a company like NVIDIA or AMD and you say, it's your fault that you're not giving more because they still have to make money. It's your fault that you're not giving us more for less. That that's, that's not entirely a fair statement in general, right? So that's, that, that sucks, right? So that's the second thing. Number two, absolutely right. I don't think this is an issue on the 7600X, but on the 40, 4060 Ti, that cost is, is ridiculous. Specifically for what you get, that card needs to be $100 less. Just like the 4080 should be less than $1,000. You basically should go to the 4080 and chunk it all the way down and put $100 less for each individual one. Now, I don't, the other thing we don't fully understand is you know, what costs are, but that's where it feels like NVIDIA is. Why AMD seems to be doing a much better job of keeping the costs under control. So, do you think that the 4060 Ti is going to benefit from 40? Yeah, I, of course I think it is. But the problem is OG Gamers is, is it's still, it's a $500 card. And what other game, well, you can get much better cards for $500. And, and there is, and this is another thing. I'm gonna go on another rant here real quick, guys. Um, the other, I am gonna go on another rant here for a little bit because the other thing too is that I also feel like we as people, as consumers, do need to understand that Moore's Law, because, we're, we, because something has existed the way it has existed forever, just because it has existed that way doesn't mean it will continue to do so forever. So in other words, people keep saying like, people, you know, and this is not just a a NVIDIA, AMD is doing the same thing. They will go and say like, hey, even though we're seeing a 10 or five or 10% drop in raw performance, what we say is with our AI and upscaling, which is a huge part of this whole thing right now, they're seeing larger leaps in that thing. And so there's a little bit of consumers stop saying like, well, the raw power, the raw power, the guy, guys, the fact of the matter is, is that there is eventually going to be a point, and I have talked to game developers about this, is you will not be able to raw run games on GPUs as they are set. They're basically going to be made with DLS, DLSS, FSR, XESS, or what is TS, whatever the, the, the third party one is, they're gonna have to be run to be able to enjoy games at 4K because guess what? That's how they have to work on consoles, which still sells a crap ton of games overall. And so the problem is, is that people need to just kind of sit there and say like, that's a part of looking at it. So the thing is, is like every time you go in and say, well, what is the raw performance thing? That's not, sometimes, some of that is relative, is, is irrelevant in some regards because Honestly, games require frame generation or games require super samplings to run it the way that they want, the developers at all want to run. Now, if you guys want to get mad at that, fine, you can. That doesn't necessarily mean you getting mad at it isn't going to change the fact that that's what's actually happening because that's what actually is, right? And so there's a little bit of like people getting upset because that's what, yeah, I mean, people are like, what do you mean? I, I want to see Rob, guys, that's not how it works. The whole new architecture both from NVIDIA and AMD was specifically targeted at making super sampling more. That's where they put all the power because efficiency and everything else, there's eventually a point where it doesn't double, 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 double forever. So it's just, that's the thing that's just interesting about this whole situation is like the, the industry is changing. I'm not even kidding about, you could have AIA generated cards in the future and that could be like literally an add-in card just like anything else. So this is a new world, a new universe and AI is here to say, just like it is in super sampling, just like it is in, in uh, FSR, just like it is in XESS. And that's where developers and game uh, GPU makers are looking to up their performance benefit. And it's not just about raw performance numbers anymore. So you might, with the 50 series, you might sit there and say like, well, I only saw like a 10 or 8% jump in overall performance, but I saw 13, 30 or 40%, well, I don't know, some number, 20% bigger jump with uh, frame, you know, with DLSS or whatever it was. So. <clears throat> Um, but anyway, that's what it is. $100 extra for 16 was also insane for eight to $10 worth of extra. So that's the thing, Andrew, it's not eight to $10. The part is not the part that goes in there. You have to understand it's not eight to 10 bucks to add more RAM. That's not actually what it costs. Those chips are more expensive than that. 
and the, for the speed and everything that goes in there and the bandwidth and everything and the architecture and how the GPU is done, it's not eight to 10 bucks. It's actually closer to 50, which is, which you guys have to think about that $50, the people who are being punished, the people who are being punished are not, are, are, are low end game, are low end, low income or budget based CP gamers. I mean, dude, people like me or people like most people are buying 4080s, 4090s. This doesn't matter to them so much. It's like the people who need to buy $200 or $250 GPUs are being punished, not because are being punished because, and as is NVIDIA and AMD, because game developers aren't doing their job. As somebody who worked in game development for 20 years, ports end up taking, the, like ports get done too late and people won't hold the game to make sure it's done right. So then it just comes out and then now a bunch of people are crying about a symptom, not the problem. So, but the problem is BMOC, you can't do 12 gigs. That's not the way the architecture works on the GPU. So I, I had some in-depth conversations with these people. The you can't, you either can do eight or 16. You can't do eight, 12. Now they'd have to re-architect the card to add numbers of four, but that's just not the way that the, the uh, PCBs were designed. So yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. You know that, okay. Anyway, sorry to rant. It's just, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little frustrated because part of it is tech tube. Part of it is people wanting to get on the hate train. I, I hate how negative, I really hate how negative the community, our community is. Because the other thing too is like, and the other thing too is like, people are so quick to pile on with whoever their person is that I feel like they're not looking at it, the picture holistically, and that's wrong. Um, and in a lot of ways, they're blaming the wrong people. And that's the part that makes me mad. And I'm not frustrated. I'm not, I'm frustrated at the misinformation and the way that it's being spread instead of taking a holistic approach. I don't like it when people just like to satire and slam stuff, right? And it, it's done for the wrong reasons. And that's frustrating, right? So that's the thing. Oh yeah, CN, uh, CN to, uh, there's tons of GPUs. The problem is, is that they're all old. I mean, they're not old, they're not, it's not a problem, but if you want stuff like AV1 and all that sort of stuff or DLSS3, which uh, to be clear, I mean, like even, you even saw this with Org and BMOC, right? It's an interesting, and I love them because they have a critical eye for these things. But I mean, we were doing in what we were playing, I, BMOC or Org can remind me, we expected the frame times on those games to be significantly higher uh, and then they had come way down because they are doing the work. That's where all of the effort is right now, FSR3 and this sort of stuff. So if you want things like DLSS3, which is, you know, and not just frame generation, but even DLSS in general, but frame generation is also gonna be a huge part of AMD. If you want that stuff, you have to get the newer cards. And if that's where the future's going, then in some regards, you're kind of taking a step back by getting a 6,000 series or a 3,000 series GPU. So there are great 6,000 series. I just did a whole Radeon buyer's guide on great cards at that price that kick the butt of Team Green all over the place for the same price. But the problem is, is that you're missing out on what is essentially the future, whether we like it or not. That's the problem. What did my first, my first graphics card, I didn't, my first graphics card was integrated. It was a 286 SX12. I mean, the first time I ever bought a graphics card after that, I have to go look, I still have the first PC. I'll have to do it on the stream. It's one of the streams ideas I have to do, but I keep having other stuff to do. We'll have to go and look and see it. Um, but outside of that, then I got into tech influencing, so I got them way quicker than that. Unranked, it's not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. The pricing is, the pricing is messed up. And I don't know, if, I don't know, if, given if this new AI thing ends up being the way that it is, I don't know if there's going to be anything to change it. I, I do, I actually do agree with Linus. And actually, I feel like, you know, I know a lot of hate for Linus in terms of his mainstream stuff, but I do have to agree with him. Like, it feels like NVIDIA is making NVIDIA cards for NVIDIA fans. Um, and so there is some of that stuff because the pricing is really whack. Outside of the 4090, I feel like the 4090 is actually appropriately priced for what you get inside of it. I think outside of that, it's 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 actually not the way. I think I feel like the scales off uh, by $200, and then it starts to kind of slim down the further it goes down. Um, I feel like AMD really does have the opportunity to stand up and do something really great. Um, I do feel like Nvidia, uh, AMD has made a lot of mistakes recently. I feel like they just keep tripping on themselves. Uh, I feel like they're rushing in some regards, and that's frustrating. I feel like the 7950X and the 7900X, sorry, the 7950X 3D and the 7900X 3D uh, shouldn't have come out until they had a BIOS that was basically ready and you didn't have to do all that wax up. You guys, actually on the last stream, we just showed the, the how just broken that whole situation can essentially be where you might get literally a hundred frame difference because your X3D wasn't parking itself the way that it was supposed to. And then you have this whole thing that kind of came out, yes, sure, that's BIOS stuff, but it wasn't just them. 
AMD has a part with that, and they also know that they're gonna have to take a BIOS update. It's gonna take a while longer. So there's that, plus the vapor chamber cooling thing with the 7900 XTX. That's a lot of mistakes from a company in just a short period of time. Um, so I feel like AMD has all, like, I feel like Nvidia is essentially running out the red carpet and it's like AMD's running with a blindfold on sometimes. So I hope that gets better. You know, that's something I really do want to see, but you're not wrong. It is the elitist. Yeah. Um, should you look into pre-owned cards? No, I, I will say you should not buy it. I don't personally believe that buying a pre-owned card, I still feel like it's risky. There's a lot of miners who are still dumping cards and there's no, there's no warranty on it. I still think that there's no reason to buy. I, I know that there are people who recommend used cards. It's just, to me, it's too risky. Unranked grandma, that really comes down to where it, it that's, that's just a personal thing. So it just really comes into from there. Sure, they aren't just trying to make sales. Hey, Riddick, thank you very much for the subs, man. I appreciate you. Um, what's up, Nasty Boy? Remember, guys, if we get, we're getting there. We're actually getting pretty close to the first. Remember, if we get to 50, if we get to 100, we start upgrading the cards, upgrading the GPU we're going to give away. Sorry for the rant. And guys, I'm actually just not trying to be, I'm not trying to be angry. I am, I am frustrated not at you, and I'm not frustrated. I'm frustrated, like I said, when you talk about the core of my frustrations, I feel like there's some really some big, like not cool YouTube stuff that's going on, right? For the sake of basically trying to pile on um, to the negative, whatever it is. And the second part is I feel like in a lot of people, in a lot of cases, people are blaming the symptoms and not the problems. And I do feel like there's a responsibility that needs to happen and, it, and it's not just, it's Last of Us, Jedi, uh, Star, uh, not Last of Us, Jedi, um, what was the other one that just came, uh, uh, freaking uh, Redfall, now Gollum. Like guys, that's, that's too many bad, poor PC ports to sit there and say like, that's not an issue. That's not okay. That needs to be fixed, right? And that's where I feel like the VRAM issue is a symptom the problem is game developers not doing the right thing. So, um, so yeah. And BMOC's not wrong. Yeah, that was the other thing too. Is like, and BMOC, I mean, the thing is, I, I will say, one thing I will say about what's going on with NVIDIA is some of it's them eating their own crow, right? Because the TSM thing, like the, these, they weren't, gonna, they were trying not to be in this situation with 30 series still existing. So I feel like there's some karma there on the NVIDIA side for sure. DLSS is exclusive to NVIDIA. That's something that I actually really appreciate about AMD and Intel is that FSR and XESS are not. Um, and honestly, Intel's, Intel's kind of kicking butt right now. Uh, the stuff that's kind of coming out with the A750 being less than a, you want to talk about a good card for 200 bucks? A750 is a great card for less than $200. Uh, and then the same thing is like, I think AMD also, again, they have a great chance to really come in and be a darling, but they just gotta, they gotta stop making these mistakes. I don't know if it's QA or whatever it was, but there's just gotta be some stuff to improve there. So sorry about that, guys. I totally got off topic there. You just, you got me on a rant. I missed you guys. I wanted to talk to you guys about that stuff. So um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry uh, about that whole thing. I hope you guys, I hope that, I hope that if you don't, I'd love to get a raise of hands if you don't agree, that's fine. I just love to know. And then if you do agree, give me an F in chat. Um, because I'd like to see where people's where people are, but that's where my heart is, and I'm just trying to be kind. But yeah, I just I sometimes I just feel like you guys don't get enough of my opinions, and I don't want you guys to think I'm a shill. So yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's talk about this though, because this I am actually very truly excited about. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, rant on. This I'm actually pretty excited about, and I do want to get to this. And I hope I, I hope Falcon's actually in the chat because, uh, guys. One thing, and I'm get, I'm actually getting warm fuzzy because like this is how I feel, this is how I feel about, and I, I will stretch here in a minute, but I, I wanna get this off my chest. This is how I feel about how brand should be. Um, I love companies, and, and I'm dead serious. I love companies that love their brand. I love companies that where they are so passionate about what they make that it means everything to them. And they will bend over backwards to do the right thing for the customer and for what they are building. And what I love and why I try so hard, and, and I, I feel sometimes I fail Kelt and the team at Falcon Northwest because I wish a million people would watch this stream right now. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I'm loving that almost 300 people are here right now. 
But I wish that, and please, go hit the thumbs up button because I really want this to go and people to come see this for the team at Falcon Northwest who makes amazing products, guys, amazing products. So I want thumbs up, not just to help me, but to help companies that I try to show make this awesome for them. So please go hit that thumbs up button uh, so we can do that. But what I love about them is they, they love what they do and they love sending PCs and they love seeing people love their stuff. Now, I'll be honest, it's pricey, but that's because they're, they over-engineer the ever-living crap out of these PCs. Like, where I used to be an Origin guy, and I, and I still am, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of Origin stuff, but I, I'm, like, it's, Origin was like, Origin is like, you know, they're like, they're like the, the high-end tier where Falcon's like the Ferrari of, like, uh, of pre built right? And, and the thing is, is a lot of stuff in terms of how they engineer the cases, everything's custom, everything's like that. It's not like if you bought a PC from, like, Alexander PCs or NZXT or um, any of those ones, these guys basically, it, it, it's, it's made specifically for a particular type of consumer um, who they know that they're basically paying for the best of the best uh, and, it's, and, it's, and it's made with love, right? So there's just something about that. So, of course, their owns Origin. But uh, sorry, this is Falcon Northwest. I'm talking about Falcon Northwest. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show you guys a little bit about Falcon because uh, this is them right now. So the one that we're gonna talk about today is actually called the Falcon Northwest Tiki. Let me jump over to this right now. My stuff's over here. Okay, so this is the Falcon Northwest. This is Falcon's website. This is the Falcon Northwest. And so if you go to falconnorthwest.com, there's uh, four PCs that you can get. So I'll show you them right here. So here they are right there. There's four PCs and then there's there's laptops. So there's the Talon, the Fragbox, the Tiki, and the Rack. And the Rack is for people not like us who, you know, the Rack is for people who basically uh, are gonna put their, their PC in a Rack. So this might be somebody who has like a like a high-end theater build system or something like that and they basically want to mount it there or this is, you know, you companies to like or Epic or Games or whatever it was who want to have rack like mounted talents. I mean, rack mounted gaming PCs. Talons. The Talon is like their full size one. It's the first one I ever showed off. Like um, you know, we basically, here, I'll just pop it in here. Here's the Talon right here. I kid you not, people have survived a bombing. I am not kidding. People have survived a bombing being behind this case because it is, I mean, these cases are all like high end metal crazy. I mean, like, you think about the price. Two thousand dollars of this hot PC is basically the case in the engineering that goes into it. So Talon is the first one, and so it's a standard desktop. It's got you know basically E loops that are specially ordered from Germany. Uh, their their AIOs are incredibly crazy. Um, the temps are nuts. Their CPUs are hand picked. Um, their GPUs are physically integrated into the build. So it's essentially a tank, uh, and it's quiet as heck. And it and performs like a god, head. right? So like and you're talking about 3,900 like Ks so like in the 90s, 90s running at, you know, 40,000 over, you know, 40,000 and no bloatware whatsoever on the stupid PC at all. 7950X, same thing. Running high end, no issues, set up the way it needs to be. It's just basically it comes and it's a tank and it runs forever and you're happy as heck. And that's why they always get PC World and PC Mag and all of their, uh, you know, basically PC of the year. So that's the talent. Ranting a little bit, but I'm, so I'm proud of these things. A bit, but I'm, I'm the next one on the list, which you guys have seen, all of these we've the covered, the list, is the frag box. We showed this. This one I have, 3900K to 4090. The talent I have, have 7950X and a, and, a, and a 4090. Um, these are Apache helicopters. This is how they get pro get basically data off of Apache helicopters, right? They're, they, you can carry them around. The whole case, the whole chassis has just been re-engineered. It's all toolless. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's even got a special port at the bottom of the of the case. You can take it off and add another M.2 drive or replace your I.O. Just a lot of really cool, smart tech uh, and, and overthinking to make this quiet and incredibly powerful and you can carry it around and it's awesome. So that's the frag box. We cover that. You guys can go back and see other episodes of this all the time. Hold on one sec. Blondie's telling me. All the time. Hold on one sec. Blondie's telling me. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, okay. Echo, echo, There's echo. an echo. Oh, okay. There's an echo. Where's the echo from? Echo. Oh, echo? you know what? I bet you I know where it's come. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I bet you I know where it's come. Hold on. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's kick. It's stupid oh, kick. It's okay, it's gone. Okay, so we got it fixed. Sorry guys, I can't see chat at the same time. Sorry guys. I don't. I can't see chat, but it's just the way chat is. It's it's. I have to use the PC. Wow, now you guys are seeing like all of it in there. Fixed, my bad. I hope we didn't lose a bunch of people because of that. So it's fixed, thank you. Yeah, okay, I'll look over here more often. Okay, and then the last one that we have, and this is the one we're gonna show off today, 
uh, is the Tiki. And this is the Tiki right here. And so the Tiki is a small form factor, the very small form factor case. I mean, when you look at the overall size of this thing, I mean, it's heavy, don't get me wrong, it is heavy because it's made with a special base so this thing doesn't tip over. Again, over-engineered over to the nines, but look at the size of it. I mean, it's the size of a PlayStation 5. Uh, it, it might actually be smaller than a PlayStation 5. It might be slight, it, it might like, even though it's wit, it's, it's actually probably, you're, you're probably in terms of cubic fill-in, it's very similar to the Xbox Series X, okay? Um, and then what you, because the, the best you could get inside of this before was a 7900 XDX, which is no slouch. I mean, that's a fantastic card. You can overclock it. There was somebody, I, I don't know, I didn't watch a YouTube video, but apparently you could get it to outperform an RTX 4090. You can put a 79, you could do a 7800 X3D in this, 7900, uh, 7800X3D in this. So you can make a hell of an AMD, all AMD powered gaming PC. Don't worry, we are gonna be doing one of those as well, um, but, you couldn't do, like the highest end 40 series card you could put inside of this was a 4070 Ti. And Falcon's absolutely transparent, like for the most part, they're people, I mean, and this is the high, high, high end gamers, still all buy like mostly Nvidia cards. It's AMD is still just not breaking through the market. That's just, that's, it might be an awareness problem. I don't wanna focus on that, but again, they, this was not, this was not something that they were buying a lot of because they couldn't get their beloved Nvidia cards inside of this. But now that changed, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Because a company called ASUS, if, can I get a raise of hand? Who knows ASUS? Does, that, does anybody, who, if you, have you heard of ASUS? Anybody? Raise a hand if you've heard of ASUS. So a company made ASUS, <laughs> also known as ASUS ROG. Um, they, uh, they, yeah, exactly who? Um, yeah, because you know people are off the map. Apparently they've been written off for a couple weeks anyway, and then the new cycle will go in, everybody will like them again. Uh, made a card called the ProArt RTX 4080. And what was so spe specific, special about this card is that it was an RTX 4080 that was two slots. Um, so that means you can now put a 4080, which is the equivalent of a 7900 XTX, le le slightly less powerful, but from the ray tracing DLSS standpoint, significantly more powerful um, inside of a Tiki. And so what we have here is one of two of the only units that exist in the United States I think there's actually, sorry, there's five, but this is one of the only two Tiki's that exist. Linus is the only other person who has this um, that you guys are gonna see today. And we're gonna show it off, we're gonna benchmark it, all that sort of stuff. So this is the Tiki. Uh, as you can see, just, I don't know what this is about. I mean, I don't know, but anyway, here is a girl holding it, cause it's not that big. Um, but when you think about the engineering, that's the thing that's so crazy. So you can talk about power per cubic inch. It shows you where the GPU goes. There's your Radeon 7900 XTX right there. You can fit up to two uh, SSDs in there. You can do a single NVMe drive, a full three and a half inch drive. And then you can also put uh, dual channel RAM, all that sort of stuff inside of it as well. Um, you guys, we'll turn it on. We'll show you, I actually have a cool way to show you how airflow works in it. But you have all of these ports and stuff on the side of it. Um, that basically here, I'll show, let me show you the side camera so you guys can see all of the holes. There's a lot of holes inside of this, this whole thing. So here is the actual PC. <clears throat> so here's the actual PC. And again, you got a lot of holes on the side here. So again, it's, this is, and we'll, we'll take it apart here in a minute. So you got holes on the side here. And then on the other side, you also have holes on the side here. Just make sure you guys can see that very well. And then you also have uh, basically some airflow here. So again, we, we're showing you a little bit of the airflow, but this is exhaust and then there's intake, intake, and then you'll see it. And I'll actually show you guys the airflow. We have a cool way to show that off here in a, a little bit here on the show. So uh, that, that's the whole thing in there. Airflow is crazy. It's dust as you guys will see. Um, we, have, we don't know if we don't know if it's how dusty it is. We haven't done any long-term testing on it. I've only had it for uh, less than a week. So I we'll have to look into that. So again, you're seeing a little bit about how airflow works depending on the card. This is obviously a, a 30 series. And then, and then the last thing is then again, the canvas. And guys, I, let me just show you this, okay? You need to see, th if there's one thing that will blow your mind, it's the quality of the print on this. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up close. Luckily we have all these high-end cameras now. So, whoa, oh, I was like hitting, what I was hitting. Okay, so let me show you this up close. So here is, look at this, look at the print. That, I mean, like the canvas on this thing is nuts, right? Like it's very, very, very well done. 
like in terms of how good the print is. I mean, this is like, this is print. This isn't a wrap. This is an actual print. You can see like even the circuits and all that stuff on it. They did such an incredible job with this. And this is the kind of design that you can only do with a Falcon with a Northwest. It's, I don't know, they have some sort of magic printer. I don't know if they, you know, they basically pay a warlock to do some sort of magical seance that prints whatever's on it, but it's it's pretty it's pretty nuts um, that what you can do with the uh, with the uh, with the talent in general. So when they're talking about that small TC big canvas, the other thing that's actually really crazy about it is what you can actually print on top of it. Sorry, I'm out of breath because this thing is not light. It's really heavy. It's really really heavy. I mean, the only two is you can also use it to work out if you wanted to. Um, it has a potential option as well. So this is when they talk about small PC, big canvas, and then we'll go ahead right now and I'll configure the one that we're gonna show you off today. Because I will tell you the one thing that you guys are about to get uh, is sticker shock. So <laughs> it's not, I don't know if it's, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, uh, if Falcon, if, if, if uh, uh, Kelt's in the chat, but uh, it's actually a printing. I actually have, hold on. You know what guys, stand by for one sec. I'm gonna go back to the main cam. And then let me, uh, I have a video. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I, did you guys notice that the, uh, we have, we have something new. Does anybody know what it is? I'd love to see if somebody recognizes what's new about the cameras. And this is new to Roby Tech in general, but what's new about the cameras? I wonder if anybody notices it while I'm downloading this real quick. Yeah, it's the, the amount of it, the, they're crazy. They are focused. Wow, thanks, YouTube. No, I want you guys to stare at it. What, here, here's the deal. Look at the, look at the, uh, look at the uh, water bottle. Just watch it. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can notice it. There's something different about it. No, it's actually, guys, it's on a slider. We actually are, it's on a slider. It's actually moving. The camera is now, it's now moving. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's now, it's, uh, the camera's moving now. And there's hidden messages, yes. Um, let me bring this up for you guys real quick, though. Because, uh, I'm going to bring this, here it is. Okay, so here we go. Can I download this? Um, accept all. Okay, let me see if I can do this. There you go. Oh yeah, here we go. So you guys wanted to see the print. It's I, it's not a. It's just the main reason I want to pop this in there is because it's not what you guys think it is. Here you go. There's the printing. So it's actually a print that does this. It's a special printer, but there is actually it printing onto the, uh, onto the, this is actually the laptop I got, which I showed you guys a little bit earlier, but it, it creates that texture, all that sort of stuff. So you can actually see uh, the printing being done here on it in general. So pretty cool, right? Um, in terms of the whole thing. So yeah. Again, very, very impressive in terms of the printing. So it's not like a, a sublimation or uh, somebody said something else that they thought what it is, but that's where it is right there. All right, so let me jump back into this and we'll, we'll, we'll spec it out. Um, so just be prepared. It's a little bit of a sticker shock, but again, when you think about what this is in terms of overall cost, um, it is, uh, it is um, definitely, definitely it's because of, um, because of the engineering. And what's into this okay this is not a case you can go buy and do this yourself okay so we're going to go in there choose the tiki we're going to choose our well, this is what we have and this will give you some of the options so we talked about the custom uv print you can actually expedite your build service if you want remember if you have any issues they will if they can't solve it out over the phone they don't have 24 7 uh, uh customer support they have normal customer support but their customer support agents are incredible and here's the big difference 
If there's an issue, they can't figure it out on the phone, they will overnight it back to them, fix it for as fast as they can and overnight it to you as quickly as possible. It's not a 24 hour turnaround, because of course, if there's a specific issue, but the point is they will overnight to get it fixed to make sure that you're happy as a customer. That's one of the biggest differences is that their customer service is bar none. That's what you're, another thing you're paying for. So chassis logo, um, and then we'll go to power supply. In our case, we have the 1000 watt SFXL power supply. For the motherboard, there's only one option. We have the Asus B760i gaming processor in this one. There's two options. There's a 13600K and then there's a 13900K. So we're using the 13900, sorry, 13900. This is the non-K version. It is air-cooled, which I mean, the, again, it's a lot like the 7900 or 7800 or 7700, sorry, 7700, 7900, 7950. Without the X, you can air-cool as 13900. Doesn't obviously get a 40,000, but we'll show you guys what the score is overall. Processor cooler, in this case, we're actually using the Intel Laminar RH1 cooler. Uh, the Acetec liquid cooler, I don't know if it actually supports uh, putting in the RTX 4080, but you could do the liquid cooler if you wanted to. Uh, memory, we've got 64 gigs of 6,000 mega transfer uh, DDR5 Kingston Fury RAM. For the video card, um, here's the options. You can do, these are the cards you can put in there so far. Again, you can do the 7800 XTX. Of course, you can do any of the new uh, Ada Quadro cards, stuff like that, but this is the new one right here. The RTX 4080 16 gig, um, again, two slot card, very, very rare. So this is to compete directly with uh, the two slot 7900 XTX. Doesn't have HDMI 2.1 or DisplayPort 2.2 two point something, forgot what it was, uh, but it does have, you know, DLSS3 and all that sort of stuff. Sound card, no real option there. You got onboarding, network, you don't have any option here. Operating system, we're gonna, we have a four terabyte Kingston Renegade in there, but you can also do a one terabyte or two terabyte if you want to. There is only one NVMe drive uh, in this case. You could add additional SATA drives. You could do eight terabytes and do two eight terabyte, 870 Q, QV, QVOs if you wanted to or you can do a WD Red Pro if you just wanted some bulk storage. There, you can also do an external operating system. We have Windows 11 Pro, and then that's kind of it in terms of what the cost is. But again, this system, if you were to purchase it from them without the custom UV printing, comes into a nice and low $5,241.00. So it is not cheap, but again, when you look at the overall pricing of what you get, what you are paying for is not the parts. The parts are not up, are not, basically heavily, you know, not heavily um, marked up. The cost is in the case and all of the custom stuff that goes with the case specifically. So that's where you're basically looking at overall pricing all up. So that's the build that we're looking at today. You cannot build this by yourself. There is no way to, to price it out specifically. We, you could put something like, you could put very similar thing inside of a fractal ridge, um, but there's a couple things I'll show you when we do the teardown process that you just can't do with a fractal ridge that you, that's, that's different to it in general. So. Um, but yeah, that is that is the build that we have today. Um, it, you know, like I said, notice a few builders are shipping internationally. I don't know if Falcon ships internationally. Fal I don't know if he's still here, but that might be something if you want to ask. I would love to own a, f yeah, uh, T a TLV, yes, it's a great system. Um, trying to see what else people are saying. Not really a whole lot else. Okay, so you guys want to see us, you guys want to see inside of it? Because I mean, that's always the fun part, right? Is let's, let's, Let's look inside of this. Now, the only, we can only really open it on one side, I think. Uh, I don't think there's another, the, it only really opens on one side because it's all done from a top down. But yeah, we can, we can show you guys inside of it here. So let's push this off to the side here. And then we'll go to the side camera. Do do. Whoops, not that one. There it is. Okay, we'll put the camera a little bit lower so you guys can see it. All right, so let's open it up for you guys. All right, so again, one thing that's really, really nice about this is it's actually toolless, it pops off. You do have a little bit of a longer uh, plug back here. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, we'll, maybe we'll see when we pop it out. It might be something I asked Kelt about. But again, here is the inside case. Now we have to be careful when we open it. Okay, so there is the actual build. And this right here is the star of the show. This is the RTX 4080 Pro Art. As you can actually see from the side, it is actually only a two slot RTX 4080. Um, so there's only two, hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Let me, 
I guess I don't really have another light. Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I don't really have another light. So it's only it's only a two slot card. Oh, there we go. If I push it back, that helps. So you, have, you get only a two slot card. In terms of, you know, the thickness, when you think about how thin this really is, it's really honestly two cards side by side. But in terms of you still have quite a bit of room on the inside in terms of what you can in, ter in terms of fitting it because this will fit, you know, two and a half slots all on. You got the air cooled uh, uh, Intel. Oh, that shakes a little bit. That's kind of crazy. Uh, there's your board right there, like you said it. Uh, again, look at the cable management inside of this, guys. All, only cables you see right here. You have the 16 pin right there, but everything else very, very clean in terms of how it's all run. The only probably the only cable that you don't have is this one, which is basically plugged into your little fan to do additional airflow. And then you also get this little badge on it every time, which actually has your Roby Tech or whoever you are, but you actually have it labeled. But then all of the cables very, very clean in terms of the whole process here, in terms of what you actually get. So beautifully, beautiful done job. Um, and yeah, it's so con what what you're seeing. This is it. This is the whole build. Is there's just not a lot in terms of what you're fitting in here. So in terms of overall, not much, right? In terms of what you see. I'm gonna look at some of the questions while you guys take a look at that. Coming back to chat real quick. Oh, there we go. So there, there's your upgrades, guys, if we wanna get higher. Uh, so clean, you like it, mini ITX cases, that's an extension cable for the power plug. Oh, okay, oh, that's what it is. All the cameras are on camera. This one is not. This camera is just, this is an F, this is just on a, a thing so I can show it to you. Let's see if you might run it. We'll find out, Cypher. We're going to test it here in a minute. Uh, GPUs are, if you want to do, if internationally, if you want to enter and win, then you all you got to do is pay for shipping. Rip its guts out. We're not going to take it apart. We're just going to show the build all on. So we'll find out here, Cypher and all that sort of stuff. We'll run the test and see how it actually runs uh, as a good. But yeah, that is the build. Um, any questions as you guys are seeing? There's not a whole lot to show about it because it's just so compact. Igor, thank you for the two gifted subs. Guys, remember, we got to get to 100 subs and we'll start upgrading. We are going to give away 3060 today no matter what. Oh, and the other thing too is I want to, let me see if I can get this on camera for you guys. But remember how I was talking about the um, fact that the GPUs are integrated into it. Let me see if I can show this. Hold on. I think this just pops out. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is just, let me just get this out of the way. So, let me see if you guys can see that. Okay, so, dang it. Let me find a way to, to hide this and show you. Here we go. So right in there, do you guys see that? Dang, it's really hard to show you. I wonder if she got her little, let's see if I can find one of those little light boxes that we have everywhere. Hold on one sec. I'm trying to see, we have little light things everywhere. Ugh. Uh, they must be off to the side somewhere. Anyway, okay, inside of this case, and I don't, I don't have a nice way to show it, but inside here, right on the back here, the physical card, the card is actually, in, it's like it's physically mounted to the case. So this case, like no matter what you do, this is not getting length, shaked out. Like when, when you look at like something like the, the fractal ridge or whatever it was, there's a lot of chance that this, this car could get damaged in shipping, and, but this is mounted like with a thick like quarter, what maybe, I don't know, about that thick metal plate that's basically mounted to this and then into the actual Tiki, which of course the Tiki itself is very, very, uh, very, very thick in general. So the point is, is that one of the things is, is that you don't have to worry about this actually getting damaged as it moves around and stuff like that because it's built like a freaking tank and the stupid, the, the, the GPU is like integrated into the actual case. So let's get it, oh shoot. Let's get it resealed up and then uh, we'll turn it on. Cause that's what you guys really want to see. There we go. Ugh. 
Okay. And then we'll show you how hot it runs and all that sort of stuff. Now remember, this is a 13900, not a 13900K, so a little bit different than what you're typically done. And then I'll show you some airflow and stuff in it and all that sort of jazz too. So let's do this. Disconnect our stuff we don't care about right here. Then you guys can hear it, which is it's dang near silent. It's it's louder because it does have airflow, air, you know, air, air cool, but still very, very quiet holistically than what it used to be. Okay. All right, so here it is. And we'll turn it on. So you guys can hear it. So here, here's how loud it is. Can you guys hear? That's as loud as it gets. Even when under load, this is as loud as it gets. And it never gets louder than that. Yeah, it's not made for overclocking. This is not different kind of system. That's what this is for. But let's, oh no, where's this? Oh no, where's the smoker? I wanted to show that off. Let me text Deb. Where's the smoke machine? I have the thing that I was going to show you guys. <laughs> okay, so we can show you guys some airflow. We'll show that here in a minute. Okay, so anyway, this is it. It's loaded. Uh, let's go ahead and get it over. We're going to show you guys here in a sec what the airflow and stuff looks like. And then we'll uh, we'll get that going so you guys can see that. Oh, it was down here. I thought it was still down here. Oh, it was on it was on the desk and then it went away. Do you have it? Am I blind? Is it on the desk? No, it's not. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show you guys the overall stuff in here. I don't. Yeah, you, this is because there is no there is no, there's no sound. That's the thing. Is it's just. Okay. Cool. Here we go. Yeah. I uh, no no I'm gonna put it I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show the airflow. Okay, here we go. So you guys can see how the actual airflow is for the case. Let's see if you guys can see this. Here we go. So this is exhaust, right? You can see that. It's just exhaust there. There's your exhaust. And then there is your intake. So again, intake is on the side and then it basically blows out from the build in general. So in terms of if you guys wanna see how it does the go like that's what the actual how the build actually runs. Let's see if you guys can see, here's, here's it from there. I'm trying not to make it fall. Okay, so here you can watch it here. Here's your intake. And then you can just see it goes out everywhere in terms of, there's your build. And then this is also exhaust too, right? So again, goes through and then it blows through and blows out like that. So there is the, uh, the PC in terms of what your, how your airflow works. Um, so again, it works a little bit different, but I want to show you intake, exhaust, exhaust, just like it showed in the overall, in the overall uh, video earlier. Okay, let's get this back to where it is so it's safe and not going to fall off because that would crush my dreams. Though I think this could actually take quite a hit, but we don't want to test that. And with a $5,000 PC. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. I guess I can show it this way. I think if I, I keep forgetting, I have the static. I have the other camera. Hey, Dopey, thank you for the 21 viewers. Welcome, my friends. We're going to be giving away a GPU a little bit later. We're getting close to that, the, the score, though. Let's go static. Okay. It's not a it's not a food grade smoker. It's called. Uh, let me ask Deb. I'll ask Deb what it's called. What is it called? I'll see what it's called. It's uh, it's not cheap, by the way. It is uh, it is a special device and it's not cheap. What is this smoker called? We'll get a link to it. <sighs> okay, and then while we're doing that, let me get this plugged in. 
By the way, guys, did you say that the, the stream is brighter than the last time we were on the East Coast studio? This one right here. This is the one I'm bringing, BMOC. And Pelican actually made a custom case for it. And so everything will fit in a custom case. You'll see a video of it. Uh, I'll, I'll debut it to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the Discord subs first. The Discord subs will get to see it before everybody else. Okay, there's that. Okay, cool. Good, I'm glad people like it. Okay, so now, so again, you guys wanna see this smoker. I think you can see it a little bit better this time. So I'll bring it over a little bit so you guys can see the smoke a little bit better from this angle so you guys can see a little bit better. Can you guys see that pretty well? So here you go. So again, intake on the side. And then that's how it, so that's how airflow actually works for the case. Hey, do you guys like the smoker? <laughs> yeah, it's the whole case itself is actually pretty rad in terms of like the whole thing in general. All right, let me, uh, let me find out what this, uh, what the name of the thing called. We'll get it for you. It's called the Smoke Genie. Uh, uh, if you want to get a, I don't know, uh, um, Thomas, if you can take a look at that. I don't know if he might be enjoying his daughter's birthday, but it's called the Smoke Genie is the name of the actual device. Uh, there is Juniper, there is a link to it. Uh, uh, we'll drop that in there. Uh, we do have links to the actual PC, yes. We should smoke, we, we're gonna, we're gonna work on it. We'll smoke test all the builds so you guys can see, uh, so, so you guys can see it. But that's, you like that? Well, good. b -mock, is it, is it bad lighting or is it too bright? Yes, Igor, smoking extra computer. This is a different kind of smoke. Okay, so here we go. Let's jump in and we'll take a look at the system. Here is our Tiki. We have their background on it right now because you know what, I need to have, I need to make a Falcon one. But here's a Tiki. Let's start with the usual. Of course, oh, do I not have hardware info monitor? Okay, we'll have to pull that up here. And you guys can see that. Pull it down. Okay. That was the only thing I forgot, but we'll get that installed already. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Don't forget. Okay, guys, don't forget to go ahead and come on. Let's help Falcon. We want to make sure this is awesome. Head on over, hit that thumbs up. And there's over 300 people here now, including on kick. I mean, there's more people even with not including kick. So yeah, head on over, hit that thumbs up button and let's get this light. You do, and remember, we unlock another giveaway if we do. Oh, I think I already did. I already installed it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's grid that. Okay. Okay, so again, 13900, not a 13900K, 13900, different different thing. I'm not in Seattle right now. No, I'm in, I'm in near the Washington DC area. Yeah, it's a tax. It's there. They are a great company. Okay, here we go. Let's bring up our Cinebench. So we'll start here so you guys can see the scores. We'll go to file, advanced, 10 minute, and start our multi-core. Okay, there is our package temperature sitting in the, and guys, that's, that's as loud as it gets. That's it. It's, it's sitting at 62. <laughs> I mean, you're obviously your cores are running at a whole lot of a lower thing in general, but again, you're running 62, 63, no problem whatsoever. 
And then again, your wattage is super low as you're pulling 65 watts right now and it's air cooled. Yep, this is how quiet it is. And we'll show you how it performs in games here in a minute. So, and look at the Cinebench score. I mean, that's a 13900. Remember, this is not, again, 18,000. So about half of what a K is, right? A little bit less than half of what a K is. But from a gaming standpoint for 4K or 1440p, you guys are gonna see that is not a problem. This is a gaming PC. So it, and you know, it, yes, it is. Again, we're not having any issues whatsoever in terms of performance here, in terms of air performance and quietness. That's not what this is. So. That's it. And it's, it's not getting any louder. It's, it's running the way that it should, which is what we expected. Again, it's just, yes. These are six, this is a 13900, not a 13900K. These are specifically run at different, at specific package wattage and stuff like that. Not unlocked, yeah. Uh, it still have, so you could, uh, you can overclock the 30, you could overclock the 4080 if you wanted to. If you, if you potentially want to, you don't need it. You could actually, with this one, you could run the 800 watt and not be a problem. And you know, honestly, it could be the 800 watt. I don't actually know, so I might be mistaken. I can ask, uh, I can ask Kelt. You may not need the 1000 watt. So, okay, let's go ahead and stop here. And I'll get, I'll get confirmation that it might be a less wattage. And you can do a 7800 X3D version of this if you wanted to as well. All right, so there's your CPU, but let's say, how does it actually run? So let's, uh, let's just, let's actually run some real tests now because that's what you guys actually want to know. So we'll start with 3D Mark and let's just see what our 3D Mark scores are like. And again, for something so compact, that's the biggest difference. So we'll start with the 4K one just to see what our overall larger score is. And we'll do all of our testing. We can do 4K and we can do 1440p, depending on what you guys want to see. So far, thoughts, questions, what, what we've shown so far, pretty impressed, not impressed. I'm just curious where you guys are. Okay, here's what we got. Okay, so we got our benchmarks. Let's start with uh, Times High Extreme, this is always a fun one. So we have an RTX 4080, and then we'll get what our overall, like our, we're not gonna get anywhere near this, but let's see where we end up with for, uh, for something like this, you know what I mean? And then we'll stop the music because this is gonna have a little bit of music stuff to it. So we'll let you guys hear the, the regular stuff. Okay, here we go. Any other questions? Again, guys, 30, can we get those last few subs? We're super close. Let's at least get to the $50 new gift card. Love to at least get to that one. We're only 12, what, no. Uh, 17 subs away from getting that. Let's get to the $50 if we can. Remember guys, we're giving away a 30, 60 day. I'd love to see if we can give away higher, something higher than that. Uh, all we gotta do is get more subs. Remember, make it rain and we'll make it rain GPUs. Trying to get a lot of love here in the stream as we get closer to the end. We're ready. The, uh, yes, Araximus, the, uh, the, the, the build is air-cooled. Uh, I think it's a game changer, Andrew, because the simple fact is, is that I don't think you need to not have the integrated IO shield. A, you don't forget about it, and frankly, uh, it, just, it just simplifies the build process. That's my two cents on it. Oh, and I need a stretch. Oh. Okay, here we go. I wonder, oh, I think the audio is coming through the wrong thing. Sorry about that, guys. We'll fix the audio in the next one. I have it set to the wrong thing because it it's right now it's going through the monitor. I'm ready, Zeiston. Oh, do you guys hear it in the speakers normally or it might be coming through my mic? Unless it's the noise canceling.
Yeah, I think it's, and it won't when I, when I switch it to the other. It's really loud. Let me see if I figure out how to turn it down. That's really loud. We're learning. is it's really loud and apparently there's no way to turn it down you could get it that loud okay sorry about that guys it's almost over once the volume this is once this is done it basically just has a one little test and I'll switch the volume stuff the audio stuff oh need more bourbon that's good We'll see how this ends up being at the end. So uh, Andrew asks, is the AMD, is the 7800X3D, like do you lose much gaming performance? So is the K a better all around CPU? Yes, obviously the K is an all, all around, more cores, more productivity options and stuff like that over a 7800X3D. There are games that really, really, like, for instance, Call of Duty and other games that really benefit from the 3D V-Cache. Um, and uh, where, so yes, in certain cases, you could lose a lot of, well, not a lot, a good amount of gaming performance by not running an X3D chip on certain games. But there are also games where the 13900K outperforms the 7800X3D. Truth be told, again, if you are doing anything from a productivity standpoint, I would recommend doing either jumping up to a 7900X, well, a 7950X3D over a 7900X3D, um, if you were gonna worry about that, because then again, you got the productivity side standpoint, and then you're kind of, it's, it's a little bit more apples to apples, though the setup is a better, the setup is a little bit more difficult on the 7950X3D, because you have to have game bar and all this other stuff to get it to work the way that it needs to effectively. But if you're answering the question, is the 13, yes, the 13900K is a better all around CPU than the 7900X3D? That's the simple answer. <clears throat> Uh, since there's no sound right now, I'm going to go ahead and hit the music back on so it's not so quiet here in the channel. And then we'll go from there. <clears throat> What's up, Zine Ali? How are you? Okay, so we're just running through and getting the last of the, letting it run through, and then we'll see what the time spy uh, test is, and then we'll get into some games. But I want to give you guys some, people would complain that we weren't giving enough like standard benchmarks. So again, this will tell you kind of where this PC sits in terms of everything else. So yeah. And I, and let me know if you want me to stop. This is boring. Then I'll, I'll, I'll change guys. Don't forget to go hit like that, like that, uh, video. <clears throat> don't forget to go hit that thumbs up button. Oh, wow, okay, 119, guys, let's keep going. Let's get, get over to that video, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you, Riddick, for driving all that. I know, Dewam Slayer, wait, what? Dewam Slayer, nothing's out of your price range. I know, Zeist, and we can't get it to work today. Uh, it's just a different kind of setup. We'll be back on Tuesday, though. They've updated this since the last time I watched it. I 
I'm sorry, Zeistin. It'll be back on Tuesday. I'll be back on Tuesday. I'll be back on Tuesday, I promise. Oh, you know what? He might have texted me. No. Okay. Bad echo. Sorry about that. My phone was done. I think it's almost done. I have expensive taste, but not the budget to max it up. I understand. Okay, it's loading the result, guys. How did it run? 12,497. There's your graphic score right there. So Battlefield, you can like estimate a game performance in these games. GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption, 115 frames, CPU score 8135. And then when we look at the overall score, let's go ahead and just do the compare results online. Uh, okay, hold on one second. Oh, you know, I'll make an account so that we always have it. Static. Here we go. I already have one apparently. Hmm. I don't know if that works either. Oh, wow, this isn't working. Uh, hold on. Hold on one sec, guys. Sorry. That doesn't... Okay, hold on. Uh... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to fix this. Hold on. Now I just want, is it not going to show it online? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, wait, okay, hold on. Let's compare results. Okay, sorry. We just got it back in. Okay, here we go. There it is. Okay, so we're better than 88% of results in terms of when you think where it is. So this score, P premium BC in 2020, this is where it basically is, 88%. Like, this is where we sit. So we're... 88% better in terms of as a small form factor PCU number of cards. This is where it is. This is, oh, there's not a number of these ones that are going in there. But, yeah, that's where we are in terms of overall performance running at a 12,497 from the overall thing, which is actually pretty cool. So, scroll down to the GPU temps. Okay. Uh, here we go. So GPU temperature got all the way up to, the CPU temp got to 78 while the GPU got to 66 was the highest in terms of temperature. And that was at GPU load. What's up guy doer? And there's your CPU stuff overall. And then of course our CPU stuff, our GPU temp, our CPU temp got into the high 80s, but that was it. Pretty dang good guys. All right, you guys want to see some games or you want to see another benchmark? You guys want to see the Port Royale one or something like that? Or we got the ray tracing one, but which one do you want to see? Anything that interests you? Or we can go to show you some games. Let's do a vote. Games or more benchmarks? Let's do a vote, guys, and then we'll go from there. And then I did want to show you guys a little bit while we're letting you guys vote. Let's go to the side camera here. Figured it'd be worth showing you guys this. So here is the brand new ROG Ally. Oh, you guys can't really, oh, the screen you, oh, it's a circle pro polarizer, hold on one sec. There you go, circular polarizer there. Okay, so this is the brand new ROG Ally. 
Uh, so again, just recently, this will be coming out very, very soon. So this is the ROG Ally. You guys wanted to see this all up. Like we do have a circular polarizer in here. So the stuff that you, it's, it's just making you guys can get it going there. You do have RGB on the uh, sticks themselves. So you do have RGB on the sticks. Uh, it's, it, it's very light. It, um, it's just under six grams. You do have uh, uh, control sticks on the side. Uh, you do have uh, sticks, uh, you do have trigger here and trigger here. Uh, USB is plugged in with the XG Mobile. And then you've also got an SD slot and then you've got power on the top. Uh, in terms of temperatures and stuff like that, it's actually pretty impressive how, uh, how not hot it actually gets. Uh, and then holding it is actually pretty nice as well. Um, and then uh, the one thing that you are seeing, um, it does run like the Xbox. So again, you, I'm running big picture mode on the Steam, on Steam. So again, in terms of uh, running stuff, it's very, very straightforward in terms of just running it if you're running like Steam. But then again, you also have access to uh, their like game cloud. So you can hit the Xbox One, stream game, Xbox games to it, which is actually pretty cool. And then you have, it's, it's also, it's a complete, it's, it's a full Windows desktop. So again, it does run Windows all up. But the one thing is I like to run it with the, basically the Steam stuff. Now this does also have like their game library and stuff, which is just like a touch screen. Um, so it's like, this does have a little bit more, but again, once you kind of go into Steam and it's loading the other games, it's just like a needle touch interface or basically being able to jump in there. And then Steam does automatically know if you do launch it, that it needs to run in big picture mode, which is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean like all in all games wise, uh, you know, it's, it's a full 1080p device. Um, I haven't, like I've been having Hogwarts, uh, it runs okay. I'll show you guys in terms of uh, the how it performs. Um, oh, I can't. Okay, let me, I'll go ahead and hit continue because it's going to log me out. Um, so game-wise, it runs okay. It's a little bit framey, like more older games, like games like um, a lot of games that you actually run on the Steam Deck, things like Hades, uh, things like, um, things like uh, Dead Cells, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff seems to run pretty well. But I will say like some of the newer games, <laughs> One of the other issues you have, but like for instance, this is Hogwarts Legacy, uh, and this one we're running at, uh, we're running at low with FSR 2.0 and frame generations. It, it does, it does, sorry, FSR, uh, no frame generations, but you can see actually, I'm gonna try the best I can. Uh, it's, of course, it's nighttime, which is making this way worse. But it does, it is actually quite a, it does have some frame issues in terms of, uh, how it runs. So um, there is some limitations here. For the most part, I mean, this is still pretty playable. I do know Diablo 4 runs really, really well on it. Um, I haven't been able to run uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi Fallen Order, uh, it just, I'm having an issue with disabling ray tracing, so I need to disable it on a different on a different system and then come back and try it. Um, but I mean, still playable in terms of what it is. And again, 1080p for this uh, all lit up, which is actually pretty impressive. So. So we've been kind of checking things out in terms of the stuff. We'll have some more coverage for this going in there, but I did want to show that off because again, it's just one of those devices that people wanted to see and you guys haven't been able to see a lot of. Yes, because it runs Windows, it because it runs Windows, it can run other games like for instance, it can run uh, the uh, Epic Game Store, Xbox Game Store. Um, so it can run any Windows game. So anything that's on Epic, so things like Fortnite or things that weren't on Steam, uh, you can run so the epic uh the epic um what's the word the epic exclusive titles you can completely run using this as well <sighs> yeah so and then the other thing too that's also crazy which we're checking out right now is that this right here this is actually called the xg mobile this is something that's unique to um the support of the ally they do have a 40 series version of this they have a 6000 series version of this and then this is an eGPU, a mobile gpu that using their specific connector you can just connect right into so let me get out of the game first. You can connect right into this and then it gives it additional power. Oops, I just cast a spell and almost killed a kid. I will say the screen and everything else for this actually very, very impressive. So the screen and everything for this, very, very impressive in terms of, and it's sorry, the, circle, the circular polarizer is keeping this from basically going there. But the screen and quality of this thing is actually pretty bonkers. Um, and then when you do load this, and then you just basically plug this directly into it, like so, it actually then XG Mobile comes on, it goes turbo, and then you can actually 
plug this into an external monitor and then run it with a 3080 instead. So it, it does run a whole lot better in general uh, in terms of what the possibility is, uh, <clears throat> which is actually pretty crazy. So you can actually have like a 4080, there's a 40 series version of this uh, as well. So you can actually then power it uh, with a higher end GPU if you really wanted to. Um, pretty, pretty bonkers, something that's actually very, very unique specifically to the ROG Ally. Um, we haven't got to play with it a ton. We're actually obviously gonna do a, a larger review on it. We're working on a video for it as well, um, but pretty impressive so far. I uh, played a lot of Minecraft Dungeons, really looking forward to playing Diablo on it. Um, but again, it still does feel like, I don't know where it is in terms of the higher end AAA games. I'm hoping with as Steam Deck creates more profiles that, that will, those will also just help the Ally better because then the Ally can run it much better than the Steam Deck can of it. Does it have video out without the GPU? Yes, it's actually running video out right now. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, let me see if I can unblock it here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, so there you go. It's got video out right now without the eGPU. So it's basically, you can see that it's actually running with the eGPU plugged in and it, you can still, you basically still get video out. Uh, Guy Doer, I, so I play with it for about two, two and a half. I played about two hours on, uh, for Minecraft Dungeons and I did not have any, like, I thought it was very comfortable. I will say the best way to play it, like the way that I've been playing it is actually uh, on like here, like holding it down like this actually works really, really well. Um, and then that's very comfortable to me. I do know that people who may have smaller hands, like reaching some of like, I think Linus said that these were getting uncomfortable. I didn't have any uncomfortable nature with it at all. I found that I found for my hands, this is very, very comfortable, but, um, it may be different, right? Like that's the thing, it's always a personal, like controllers and stuff like that are always a very personal choice in terms of uh, how they feel. And that's gonna be very, very specific to the, uh, to the user. But I personally did not have any comfort issues using it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, Org. Um, that was the controller that I was the best at Halo at. So I liked the Duke controller. Um, it was my, o it was the OG, it was like my first console controller. Um, I didn't go to the S until much later now. However, when the Duke had their rebound and they had them all come out again, I didn't go back and try it again. Um, but I don't remember being, I don't remember actually um, feeling like it was all that uncomfortable when I did. But um, I, I don't know, I mean, it's, uh, I liked the Duke um, and I was part of the team, you know, when they first were doing the Xbox One, sorry, the Xbox and we, I was part of the team who got to try it really early on. I thought the controller felt great then. Um, I know a lot of people who complain about its size uh, were usually, it was actually the, the smaller version of the Xbox controller was made specifically for the Asian market um, where Duke was a real issue. Um, but I did, I liked it, it was fine. What about you guys, thoughts on the Duke controller? Does anybody know what the Duke controller is? Uh. So, yeah. Yeah, I liked, I liked the Duke. So yeah, it's just, it comes down to, I mean, like I know a lot of people went back and were happy about the Duke. Hey, uh, Blondie, where did people uh, land on the vote? Did they decide to do, do we, are we gonna game or are we gonna, are we gonna do benching? I didn't know where it landed. Okay, games, okay, cool. Games it is. Okay, so let's jump into gaming. That's, it always seems a little bit more, uh, seems a little bit more relevant. So let's check out, uh, let's check out Call of Duty. I feel like that's always a good one to start off with. Oh, geez. It's always the fun thing when you ha only have one Steam account. Ugh. Close that. Waiting for 3D Mark to shut down. All right, here we go. Okay, so we'll start with Call of Duty. Oh, let me make sure this is set right. Okay, now it's right. There we go. Okay, 
give you guys all the pertinent information. Okay, here we go. Here we go, launching it up. Here we go, guys. 130 guys of 250, let's get those likes. Now you guys will be able to see all the data up front. Uh, Henry Cavill is a serious builder, you're not mistaken. You're not wrong, I'm not, I'm not, I would not dispute that fact in, in general actually. I think he is actually a very serious gamer. little chair here okay okay here we go okay you got to scroll through all this except So we're gonna stick to 4K just because, well, I mean, we can do 4K and 1440p. I will be gaming on this system at 1440p. That's where, that, that is, I mean, that's how I basically plan and had this spec all up. But I do wanna show some 4K because the 4080 can technically do 4K, which is what it's made for. I just got a Frankenstein PS3, what is that? He does know his Warhammer. So I'll be probably, yeah, for that's where I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna be sitting is basically 1440p. Uh, Two-factor authentication, not now. Okay, restart now. And then we'll have to wait for, yeah, we will have to wait for uh, shaders. <laughs> nice, man can never say they're 18 or older. We only mature to four to seven. That's that is true. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just change it up. Let's get finish out those likes, guys. Love to see if we can get those last uh, those last subs too. For 14 feet at 40p, especially we have the I have the new Corsair OLED that's coming with me to uh, to Dallas. This will be the build. B mock, are you surprised? I think I told you guys B mock that I, this is gonna be my build for uh, for Dallas. Hey, Chris26, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for the, thank you for the, uh, it, things are going well. All right, update complete, here we go. Skip. Okay, let's go to settings. Graphics. Okay, we're gonna do quality. Uh, screen refresh rate, what I care about is unlimited. Quality, apply. We're gonna go to basic. Go to DLSS, performance, apply. We do have extra resolution, all that stuff is fine. I want to make sure that reflex is off. Okay, reflex is on, depth of field is off. Okay, all, everything else is good. Okay, here we go. So let's see how this runs. It looks like it's already done with the texture stuff. So let's go here, benchmark. Starting this. Yeah, we need. Oh, did we get more gifted? Wait a minute, is this not updating? It doesn't show that. I'm gonna reset this because it doesn't seem like it's reading. It. Oh, Igor dropping one. Thank you very much. Sorry guys, I thought it didn't do it. It's like it just. Oh, we had two dopey. Oh, thank you very much for the raid, dude. Appreciate that. Sorry about that. 136 to 250, guys. So remember, this is 4K. We're at 4K right now. Right 
Yeah, that's uh, that's not bad for 4K. <laughs> yeah, that's 210 frames per second at 4K, guys. Okay, you guys want to see it at 1440p just to keep things uh, interesting? Okay, so we'll go down to 1440p. And then we'll give it a 1440p and then we'll check out what uh, next game, and then we'll go to our next game. I got a bunch of games, guys, so I, I took some time. Okay, so here is 1440p uh, on this one. This is uh, basic, basic. This is basically optimizing for frames. I can set it on, you guys want to be so ultra, we can throw an ultra on 4K. Just because. This is just optimizing as much as we can for frame rate. Oh wow, 14, not a whole lot better. I wonder if it changed. I, I wonder if I forgot to hit apply, guys. No, it looks like it's applied. It's still hitting well. It's still hitting in the Are the BYOC big enough for a 32-inch monitor and tower? Yes. The, actually, the spaces are about what you're seeing here. So I'll actually have dual monitor set up. So about 14 frames higher. Oh, you know what? <laughs> well, that's not a very good one here because I was running at performance too. Um, let's go. Hold on. Let's just do this. Let's go back to 4K. And then we'll run it at Ultra. We'll run it extreme. This is extreme. This is highest end, beautiful, best you can do. We can run it without DLSS. Remember guys, I already had the whole rant. DLSS is a large part of how these cards run, but we'll run it without DLSS just to, just for the fun and then we'll jump into another game. Okay, so here it is, quality, put it on nothing, apply, so this is raw. Your, yeah, your, your temperatures are all in the 70s. Like the GPU is not having any issues whatsoever. And we're pulling 300 plus watts right now. Hey, 
Cy Swan, thank you for the five gifted subs. That takes us, guys. We're now 50 away from upgrading our next GPU. There you go, 97. That's raw extreme. Okay, so that is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's uh, let's throw up some Cyberpunk because it's always a fun one. Cyberpunk 2077, and I'm gonna change the goal. Sergeant Nobody, drop in some more gifted subs. Thank you, Sergeant Nobody. We're now at 56, guys. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All widgets. Sub goal. Uh, hold on one sec. Sub goal. And. There we go. All right, there it is, next goal. And remember, if we get past this, then we're going towards an upgraded GPU. Oh, hey, starting to play. Guys, head over to the thumbs up. Go ahead over and go get that thumbs up button so we can get that and lock help Falcon because we're showing off their epic thing, trying to get them more views. If you guys love this kind of content, remember, if you love this kind of content, then that helps us get more of this stuff, show more of these things off. So hitting those thumbs up, and it's more than just, it's also making sure you guys have great content to see and get, continue to see new cases and all that sort of stuff and hear me rant. Okay, let's take a look at this. We're gonna run, let's do 1440p, so we'll, we'll give it all the right stuff. So we're gonna go to ultra. Ray tracing, ultra, high, we put DLSS at performance, apply. We got no, with no frame generation right now. XCSS is built in here. We don't have path tracing on. We'll put path tracing on at 1440p. Again, the, I don't think the 4080 is really, I, I mean, you can do it, but for what I want to do it with, I want to do 1440p for this, so. See you later, Andrew. Thanks for hanging out, man. We'll be, uh, we're, uh, we have about 30 minutes, 30, about 30 minutes left tonight. I might just, we're just, this is really just, uh, this is kind of probably end up being a shorter stream just because of what we're doing. This is, this looks so buttery smooth though. This game looks so good. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that, Araxis, that's what we're gonna do on the, on the, on 1440p. Uh, Andrew, no, it, this would be much worse. Uh, probably about 30 frames lower. Because I think path tracing, you're almost 30 FPS. Uh, with, with, I think path tracing on this would be, with frame generation, would be around the same as what you're seeing right here. Without it, but with frame generation, yeah. So there it is, 75.26. Let's, uh, let's go to 1440p. This is where I'm gonna be testing it at though. This is where I'm gonna be playing it. So let's say for instance, Zeistin and uh, BMOC, they went to bed because they're old at like 7 p.m. So Roby's gotta play some games afterwards. Uh, Igor's off schmoozing with all of the big, big wigs at IEM. And so Roby's left alone. He's gonna play some single player games since they've abandoned him for, for better friends. So we're gonna go to graphics. We're gonna put it on patch racing on, high, on ultra. It, uh, we're gonna put super resolution on balanced. We're gonna turn. We're gonna turn on frame generation. 
We're gonna give it all the bells and whistles. Okay, we're gonna go to video. We're gonna change this to 2560 by 1440. Okay, here we go, fly. Oh, okay, let's go to full screen. Apply. Oh, why did this not? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're all set now. Run our benchmark. This is pat tracing, like basically the best situation in terms of using all the bells and whistles of the card with path tracing on and frame generation on. Wait, why is, oh, path tracing's not on. Now patch racing okay. There we go. And we're gonna put in the yellow frame generations on. And we're gonna go to balance. Okay, here we go. Running in the benchmark. Morning, Rusty. We'll see you here in a minute, guy. so bad for path tracing at 1440p pulling 300 watts right now still in the 60s That seems pretty good, guys. <laughs> I have a 6600 XT. This is extraterrestrial. I understand that guy. And there we go right there, guys. 100 and plus. There we go. 109.45. That seems very playable. Uh, and uh, across the board, temperatures seem fine. That seems good, right? Pretty sweet, yeah? Hey, Julio, I'm glad that you like it. Okay, let's take a look at another game. Uh, you know what, we should, whoa, did I really just launch the credits? I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. All right, let's look, okay, here we go. It's getting a little crazy, guys. So we're in Gollum. Wait, did I install Gollum? I didn't install Gollum. We might, we might have to download Gollum. What is it called? It's called Gollum, right? Company of Heroes, Dead Space, Elden Ring, Forspoken. Did they remove it? Left 4 Dead, Lego, Lord, oh, there it is. Here we go. I haven't even played this game. Here we go. <laughs> we'll do Last of Us, I promise. Okay, we'll do Last of Us as well. <laughs> I, I have no idea what to expect here. Turn on the hair thingy? Okay, I'll turn on the hair thingy. Why is MSI not working? I don't know, maybe MSI doesn't work? Oh, there it goes, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go 2560 by 1440, vertical sync is off, anti-aliasing, turn on I, golem hair simulation on, ray tracing on, DLSS on, DLSS mode balanced, I'm gonna mess with the sharpness, NVIDIA low latency, frame generation, we'll have it off, apply. Okay, here we go, controls, okay.
That looks terrible. I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna actually drop it down to quality. It's not even applying. Okay, new game. Here we go, guys. How much RAM are we using? Six thousand, six, six, seven. Oh wait, what's my frame? Is my frame stuck at something? I want to try this again. Settings. Vertical sync off. It doesn't have like vertical sync resolution. I don't have V-Sync, but I don't know if I can change my... I can't change my my graphics. Like, it, I don't... It doesn't do anything, okay? So I don't know if I'm stuck at... Thir it's, I, maybe it's only 30 frames per second. Jeez, if this is 30 frames per second, holy crud. Holy moly, it's 30. Is it locked at 30? Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Loses has This must no be a cinematic spent. locked at 30. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. I know. I... Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? What was the intentional time flower, the guy doer? Oh my gosh. Quiet. Someone's coming. We may provide you with a path. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. I didn't even hear. Are they speaking? Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Why is it not talking anymore? Someone tortured him long before the Duna done found him. Do you guys hear the any sounds? grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us. Oh, well, I don't know why I don't hear it. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. Whoa. I want to hear what he has to say. Now we're getting 600 frames a second. I don't know what people are complaining about. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given. I like how people are like, this game is just well. bad. <laughs> Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, you remember him. He found you more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took... Something Why does he make him look so evil? A ring. He's got really he guys he could use from a Manny Petty. Oh. You were looking for it. The tearing is no V sync, guys. Remember, we're just trying to it's plus. I mean, when you're running at six hundred frames per second. You left your home. You know, this game is legit powerful. Worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You follow the hobbit's trace all the way east to the lonely mountain. But then you stop and turn south. Why? 
What's the typo, guy? Something must have drawn you away. Yeah, they must have run out of time because this is like this was probably supposed to all be CG, but they were like, nope. Whispering your name in your dream. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, guy. Okay. Here we go. Let's see those FPS, baby. What is your name? Eagle. Very Come on, guys, well. 100 more likes. There Spiegel. is over 300. Well, there were. Now, let us start at the beginning. Well, then if we don't, if we do, then we won't get frames. Oh, my gosh. I got two frames per second. Oh, my gosh, guys. Maybe they were running it on the 5090. How oh, the animations? Well, this is okay. I'm getting 145 frames per second. This is like, <laughs> this is really bad. This looks really bad. <coughs> Look at his jump animation. The mountains of shadow. That is where you are hiding. Why is it asking? Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. Wow. Wow, this is, uh, I don't know, it's like, this is like really, like, I'm surprised. I don't think I expected it to look Shadow this bad. Yes, that's how they called it, the orcs is dead. So you talk to the orcs? Yeah, never, but he has sharp ears and we listens. What is this cave? Oh, jeez. This is just not an attractive game, guys. No! Oops. Oh no, I didn't think I wanted to do that. I didn't. The camera doesn't help. I don't... <laughs> it just... It's just not attractive. It's I'm, I'm not like you know. It's like I, I I'm agreeing with you. Like I know what it takes to put a game like this in, like to do a game. But 
It's just not, it's just, it, the graphics are very dated. Not a pretty game at all. I'm gonna get to the cave and then we'll we'll play something else. This is really bad. There's a lot of glitching too. And if you guys, my stamina runs out. I'll fall. An orc cave. Orc live there. Yes, hiding from the great eye. We think. Long gone. When we came, a dusty orc, long dead. Oh, there's a drawing. Look at you that, guys. Our friends once. A family? They kicked us, cast us out, cast them all, cast them back, back. Oh, glitch into a cloud? Yes, it was. Your birthday. This is like, guys, I... Wow. I am getting not bad frames, though. Even though there, like, there's a lot of hitching. Where, dude? Where did? Where? Like, Smeagol was like out. What is going on? Am I going back? Am I going back? I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way, guys. Yeah, I know. That is true. You know what we'll do, guys? I know how to make this better. This is just for VMOC and ORG. Now we're gonna get now we're gonna get now we're gonna get AI frames. Oh. Oh wait, what happened here? Now we're getting AI frames. Yeah, we can go. Okay, we'll turn out. Okay, no, we'll just we'll make it we'll make it worse. Okay, let's just make it. Let's turn DLSS. We'll turn DLSS off. Wait, why do I? I, I want none. Why can't? Oh. Okay, off. How can you have DLSS without? Okay. Okay, now it just has DLSS up. Man, this is, now it's all broken, guys. So you never left that cave. Never. And no one ever saw you. No one. Yeah, I've made a game or two, guys. Oh, 17 frames per second. Wow, this game is really ugly. This game is really bad. Nasty bird. It watches what is up with his eye? What are you looking at? Catch it. Grab it. I mean, who you looked at this it. and thought, this looks good? Okay, that's, yeah. That's really bad. Okay, wow. Okay, that was really bad. Okay, Last of Us. Let's go to something that's much prettier. sound stuff stuff this game is bad other streamers streaming golem are fine what are you thinking liking non gameplay scenes I don't understand the game is the game is bad the game is just the game the mechanics I don't know there's just nothing about it and it just looks bad so solo solo it just doesn't look good and honestly the the gameplay it's just like the mechanics are I don't there's just you know when you play a game and you're just like this is not good like that, whoa shoot that's what I'm saying it's just like it's it all it just comes off as not good and I was like I was actually excited about playing that game
I'm not trying. Like, I, I bought it. I, I own that game. I paid for it. Why is my sound like it was working and then... Oh, I wonder if it's because I have to be on this. I don't know. Monitor in and output. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it seems like this is not loading. I guess you can get a refund, right? Because you have a certain amount of time. Uh, I don't know why this isn't running. Gollum broke Last of Us. It was like obviously loading. I remember seeing this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we'll wait for main stories. Let's go ahead and change our stuff here. We'll actually go down to... I guess I can't change the run, render. Okay. Waiting for the sh the shaders to build. I kind of not change. No. I guess you can't change this. Oh. I, I think I have to like really go back. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna whoa, whoa, whoa cancel. I think you can't change the. It's like hoping you can change the render resolution, but you cannot change the render resolution. Okay. Oh, display. There we go. No? Oh, there you go. Display. There you go. No, that doesn't work. Okay. 4080 display window. We're going to go down to 2560 by 1440. Desync off. Unlocked. Oh, so this does support DLSS. Balanced. Okay. Well, I didn't know. I thought this. I didn't know the supply supported DLSS. Uh, you can do 4070, 4070 Ti. 4080 is like kind of on the upper end. Um, for sure. 4080, 4090, 7900 XTX, and the 7900 XT are kind of 1440p cards, but the Honestly, for 4K, the 4090 or 7900 XTX are my recommendation. Yeah, 3070 Ti does well at 1440. There are lots of older gen cards. I'm just talking about the newer gen stuff. Hey, Falcon Northwest, what's going on? We were just talking about you. Yeah, we got a, I don't know, did you, how much, Kel, did you get to watch what we showed so far? Uh, one of the questions that came up, do you know, Kelt, off the top of your hand, that this is the 1,000 watt or the, or the 800 watt PSU? I don't know if you, I didn't know, because I'm in Maryland, I didn't bring the specs with me. We, we gave your, this thing a lot of love. And now we're gaming on it. And people have been very impressed with the, uh, with how good, like how compact it is and what's inside of it, and those temps and everything. Oh, I see. Well, dude, you should have. Well, I'm sorry to say I put Gollum on this game, and it was not, it was not giving you much love, my man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, by the way, Kelt, did you see this? Here we go. I'll show this off. By the way, Falcon Northwest, a little bit thing that we got to show here. I think you'll like this, uh, Kelt. Here we can, we got to show the cooling. So help, let me make sure you guys can see this. Oh yeah, here we go. So you have to show the cooling here. Here we go. Oh wait, unless it's out of juice. 
we can actually see how it cools, how the performance, how the air cools. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I need a, yeah. Yep, threw it up. Oh, let's get back to the game. It's getting, oh, it's 53%. Look, that's how cool we are here. One sixty-two of two fifty, guys. We're definitely giving away a thirty sixty today, no matter what. Would love to give away more. We just got to get more subs, and we got to get we got to get those likes. You're welcome. We're doing the giveaway here in just a bit. We're trying to get, we're gonna show this game off. It's almost done building shaders. Is Left Behind, Left Behind must have been an add-on, I guess. Oh, do I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Uh, the game's installed, it's just doing the shader renders. Which takes, like, now they, at least they fixed it so it's much shorter. We'll be in the game here very, very soon, guys. Yeah, exactly, Falcon. Yeah, I think for this one you could do 850 and be completely fine. People were just asking because they wanted to, uh, it, uh, somebody was, uh, Juniper or Sarah wanted to take a look at it. Yeah, we're, Ray, uh, Naven, we're talking YouTube likes right now. 69, guys. Juniper, yeah, Juniper was like, hey, do, is there a link to the system? And Tom, I think Tom linked it, right? Uh, Blondie, we linked uh, Juniper so she can go buy it right now. She wants to buy five, uh, J Juniper wants to buy 10 of them. Okay, he did link it, okay, good. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate it, man. It's using 10. It's got 10 gigs of memory allocated, and we haven't even gotten to the game yet. Oh, you get... If you buy 10, Falcon sends you their extra coffee, which I forgot to bring with me here to Maryland. Uh... Kelt, so we should we were gonna we were gonna actually do a short about it and now I'm gonna have to wait till we do it in Miami. Thank you, Julio, for the uh, for leaving your like. Appreciate it. Juniper, that game is awesome. Uh, Jeremy, no, that's those are the key things. We're trying to get another group of likes over on the on the Twitch thing so we can give away a, a higher end GPU. Sixty seven hundred XT if we can get another uh, thirty subs. Araxinus, not for the money it costs, no. I don't think so. 88, 89. We're getting there. I don't know what that sound means. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, what size will our area be? I can find out. I'll know more to Igor tomorrow. I don't know, you t I, that's actually a good question. I don't think so. I think they're done. But I was going to guess, I don't think they're going to drop any more cards for the 40 series. Hey, Falcon Northwest, when are we going to have AI cards added in? That's the next. Uh, we were talking about that earlier on. Now with AI add-in cards. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think you need a 40-50 with this gen. 
Oh, yeah, we were showing the base earlier, and we took it apart, and we, uh, well, we didn't take it all the way apart. We showed the pro art. We showed it strapped inside of the system. I told them how heavy it was because of the base. Is there anything else I should show? The base is what makes it so crazy. Ninety-four percent, guys. We are watching paint dry right now, and I appreciate that you're sticking around. Are we close to two hundred yet? On likes, I wish. Don't worry, Cassid. We will be playing that next weekend at. Well, no, because I'll be playing it the weekend after. Don't worry, we'll play Diablo Four on this for sure. Guys, let's go. Come on. Let's just go. Hit those thumbs up button. There's 300 plus people here. We want to make as many people see this Falcon Northwest content as possible. So, guys, please go hit that thumbs up button because it just makes it more apt to go for lots of people to see just how awesome this Falcon Northwest Tiki is. So Juniper said that really what she wants to do is build a desk. I mean, sorry, what Juniper said is he really wants to build a desk out of nothing but tiki's, which because of the quality base and quality materials makes for a perfect uh, bench building material. 98. It does, Andrew. It, it, it's good. 99. Come on, just finish it. It's going to get there. It's going to get there. Okay, there we go. Last of Us. Okay, let's do... We'll continue. Still loading. You can definitely, oh, I don't know if the Tiki, it would be hard to, the base would be hard to mount on the wall. But you could put it behind a monitor, that is true. I mean, it's super thin. Oh, wow, it kicks off right here, jeez. It's okay, baby, we're safe, we're safe. Hey. Guys, they're literally, we're just gonna rip your heart out right away, right away. It's my dog, I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. Got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We need you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir. There's a little girl. But. Yes, sir. Somebody, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need. Shit. I can actually see where she got shot. Please do <laughs> What is no. the NVIDIA value proposition? I mean, honestly, their value proposition is the 4090 and maybe the 4070, right? Or 4070 Ti. I, 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 really that they, uh, I really hope that they have a, I really hope that they have a price drop. They really need a price drop. And I mean, you've seen 4080s close to a thousand, so I, I feel like it's coming. I think it's Joe's fault. Joe should have been there earlier. Sarah. Dude, she died so fast. Danny. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me. Come on. I don't think the 4090 will ever get that low. I think that I think that card is actually appropriately priced. Oh my gosh, dude. Heartbreaking.
Riddick, if you get a frag box, man, you will not be disappointed. That is like that is our that is our, that's our workhorse. I mean, this is going to be. The I mean, this is got, this PC is going to be going all over the United States. The has called a state of I mean, it's. It, I had it. I've had it barely. Had it barely a day, and it literally came to Maryland. I'm, I want this to be the most traveled tiki that Falcon Northwest ever made. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles is it's now coming. Zeiston, this is the PC coming in. I am. This is my. This is specifically for land. Continued for a third consecutive day, and winter rations are at an all-time low. A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Hey guys, we're running at 160 for frames per second. Uh, okay. All oh, let's get cinematic. Yes. This is the Robitech LAN system. I touch it like it's a LAN system. Here we go. Uh, that thing is not, this is too heavy for a backpack. And I love the, I love the design on it too much. Checkpoint still open. Only got a few hours left until curfew. Yeah, okay, here we go, Last of Us. Selected for outside work. But I decided to play this because Zeistin and Igor and Dimok aren't my friends anymore. They just leave me to cry. Then I'll be able to play this at like this. The good thing is, is with how the GPU and everything is mounted, you could like even carrying it in your backpack, you're not gonna you're not gonna harm it. Like, it's a very travel-safe PC. That's what's so awesome about that. it. I'm not a liar. I must be running low again. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now because I can't hear. I just, I'll follow her. When in doubt, follow her. Seems like more people are getting infected. That just means more people are sneaking in. Yeah, this game looks good. I got us all new papers. They shouldn't give us any static up here. Just play it cool. Now, let me turn on subtitles. See you, I need. There you go. Okay, now I can read it. I know what's happening. What's your business here? Have the day off. Visiting a friend. All right, move on through. Thanks. Get out of here! Get out of here! Go! Close it up! Fireflies! Fucking shoot them! They're running! Come on, let's go. 184, 250, guys. We're trying to get to 250. Let's go, come on. We don't have a whole lot longer. Attention. Checkpoint 5 is now closed until further notice. All civilians must move around the area. Well, this seems fine, easy. guys. Patch yourself up, all right? Got to patch myself up, OK? And a heal. Healing up, guys. They're going to close all the checkpoints. We're going to have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. <sighs> Cute. Hey, Tess, you see that shit? I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. So where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. All right, here we go. So that looks good. Let's see. Let's take a look. So we looked at Gollum bad. Let's check out one more. Let's throw up, uh, let's throw up, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and then we'll we'll end it out on this tonight. So, guys, we only have a couple more minutes to try and get this uh, to try and get this going. Mm -hmm. 
I, okay, Falcon's like, okay, show the system. We'll, we'll put it on the side here, sorry. We were showing it off earlier. There we go. They don't need to see Roby. They just need to see the system. That's Kelt's way of making sure. There's a, don't look at Roby's ex ugly face. Uh, I do have, I don't know if I have Spider-Man on here. I feel like I do have Spider-Man. Yeah, I know I have Spider-Man. And I have like God of War and some other ones too. It's, it's because the cables, like we're in the East Coast studio, so it's a little bit, yeah. So I can't, the like cables are limiting somewhat. Uh, with the, the, eventually the uh, slider will come over here and you'll be able to see my face a little bit better. Roby, change camera. Which camera do you want to change it to? Which camera? People are telling me to change the camera to what? It's in the... Satellite view? What's satellite view? Yeah, the printing on it is so cool. Okay, let me get this options. For full screen, epic, everything there, performance on FSX, motion blur, hide. Oh, I don't want to do, I want to do 2560 by 1440 though. This is weird. It doesn't let me set the resolution. It's, it's a weird bug. Okay, here we go. Let's call it video. Modify. Accept. How do I get, what the, accept. Think it worked? Accept. Yes, keep this resolution. It's like, I can't, the bug, I can't change the resolution. 2560, what the deuce? Why can't I not, I wanna change the resolution. Except, this is terrible, I can't. I wanna change the resolution. This is, what the deuce? It won't let me, it's like, it's like, no. I, I have to do it this way, hold on. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh, okay. That doesn't work either. I want it to, what the do's? Why do you not work? It won't let you change it. It's like, it's like, it's like no matter what, it's like, I don't, I want this. I want, like, please let me change it. And it won't let me. It's not even letting me try. 
I can't, can't, I can't, oh wait, it, uh, no, it won't, it's like, what the deuce? Wow, okay, well, let's go to window full screen. Man, this thing is, what the dude? It's like, it's like, I don't, uh, wow, brutal. I think, I think, I think Gollum broke, broke uh, Jedi Survivor. More performance updates, including not abil no ability to change resolution. <laughs> no, it's not the computer's fault. The computer's awesome. I'll try that if that works. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? We got to finish this out. I have tried stable games on it. Yes. F Call of Duty was amazing. People were super impressed with Call of Duty and the performance we got in Call of Duty. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can... Options. Gameplay. Visuals. Oh, okay, wait. It's... Well, look at this. It's... What? Window mode... Window full screen. Uh, okay. Let's just see what this runs at. And it's, it's... Hopefully, it's... It should be 1440p. This is not 1440p. It doesn't let me change. What the deuce? This is... Wait, oh, wait, oh, you just have to click on it. Okay, maybe that worked. Okay, that seemed to work. Okay, so can I, let's just see, can I do this and go to... All right, we're 2560 by 1440 now. Settings do I have here? Okay, that's right. Perform oh, we want balance. someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. And this is running terribly. This is not, I, I feel like, I feel like something's wrong here. Like it's running at a higher resolution than it needs to. Guard up. It doesn't look like the settings are changing. Not 
five, Jedi. Okay, that looks better. Baron, you got it? Of course. That looks better, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the GPU's Only not even sweating. Side. It's just like, again, like I said, it's 67. It's barely, I mean, it's 98%, which is better. They definitely fixed the stuff, it's just for some reason, whoa. Like, I don't have audio right now, so it's like not playing the way it So what'd you find? It's, it's, I mean, the, and guys, you guys are hearing it. Like I'm here, I don't know if you guys can hear the audio, but essentially it's, it's pretty much dang silent. There's, like, there's no noise, there's no sound. Whoa, hold on. That's what, that's, that, that's what, uh, that's what um, Falcon does with um, GPU sound. They just throw it off a cliff. There is none. <laughs> That was like good. Yeah, guys, it is quiet as heck. Like, you're hearing no sound. Where did this come from? Ooh, she just killed everybody. They're scared of you. I know. They have taken to calling me the Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost, huh? Haunting Imperials has become a hobby of mine. Can't even go up. Someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. There's still a there's a crate down there, guys. Get that crate. There's a crate down there that I missed. How did I miss that crate? Okay, I mean, again, looks like it's doing really well. I mean, like, it just took a little bit of fixing to get it to do what it needs to do. I don't know why, but yeah. I don't even know, the 4090 Matrix, I mean, I, I don't, nobody really knows what that looks like yet. That's apparently a Computex thing, right? We're supposed to get the announce soon. So, that's rumor. I don't even know what it is. So, wow, a two slot 4090? How crazy would that be? It must have taken lifetimes to build this place. Now the people who built it are doing. gone. I came across the remnants of many civilizations during my travels. All things. Find the fire. So, anyway, game looks good. I, I'm, I'm a little surprised at like, let me, let me, I'm just gonna look at one thing. It felt like this something was, oh, I can go up to, let me go back to Epic. Okay, the graphics look way better. Okay, so we're still at 100. I just killed myself. Oh, I can't go back in there apparently. So we're still at 114 here. A little bit more graphical popping. Okay, that's that. Let's check. Let's just check. Re, let's try rec tracing. I'm trying to see what the what the options are here, because it's like I uh, ray tracing.
Come on, guys, let's hit the likes. Let's get those in there. There's oh, there's still 300 plus people here. Oh, that drops. Look at oh no, it's still in the 90s. Okay, so that seems fine. That's 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 completely reasonable. Ready yourself for combat. Good job. Is there like nothing down here? Whoa. You get framey from time to time, but for the most part, this is without FSR. So yeah. Oh. Hey, this is that thing I was looking for. Oh, cool. I was looking for how to get this, and now I know how to get it. Look at how cool I am. Guys, I'm so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm um, trying to think what else is going on here. That's pretty much all the, uh, okay, let's see, let's see if there's anything else we're checking. And then we'll, uh, but yes, this game is, I mean, it's, oh, it makes me so happy. That was great. I just had, I think it just needed a rejigger to get it to work the way it needed to, but then performance wise, it's fine. Then I could play with FSR if I wanted to, but for the most part, that was also beautiful for running. Um, Elden Ring is gonna be great. And then, yeah, we got, I think that's kind of it. I think that's pretty much all the games. Oh, we can, here, we'll, we'll pop this one in and then this will be the last one. And then we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. This is how much time you guys have to get those likes. And uh, if we can get another, what, 43 subs, then we'll give away a 6700 XT, which is a big jump from a 3060, guys. Oh, sorry, if we get, if we get, yeah, never mind. We get, we'll give away a hundred dollar new, new gift card. Sorry, never mind. But we're gonna give away a 3060 and a $25 new A gift card so far. I'm, I'm, I'm quiet? I don't think I'm quiet. Am I quiet, guys? Okay, we're just gonna do our shaders, and then we'll jump into the game. Guys, this is so. In closing, Falcon Northwest Tiki crushed it in vi like we showed like no problems with thermals great benchmark performance we showed it killed on freaking we it killed on 3d mark um sound is near like it's it's almost quiet like there's just a little bit of fan sound great airflow no temperature issues runs games beautifully uh, is small form factor travel ha travel friendly and look how tiny it is this is it's just when you have people who are who are proud and passionate about the products they make, you get good quality products like this, guys. And that's what's super important. Now, again, we will have our full review on this. You guys will see this showing up a ton because it's going to be traveling to IEM Dallas. It's going back to Seattle with me on Tuesday. Um, we're going to be, and we have a lot more content that we're going to be doing with it as we work with it some more. But incredibly, incredibly impressive piece of hardware. And, you know, again, over not over engineered superiorly engineered to be a small form factor like small pc that you can use and abuse in a way that you need to as a gamer okay we're over 200 finally guys Uh, Lopez, uh, go to discord.gg slash Robitech and ask in the Discord server. Great place to get help with that. It's harder to do it during a stream. Oh, by the way, did you guys notice that my scuff controller matches my, uh, look at that. Look, I got a, I got a special controller to match the build too. So, 
It's got dragons on it. Not a rope tee, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at Hogwarts Legacy. And probably the most attractive wizard in history. Ultra, 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 ray tracing on, ray tracing on, ray tracing ambient occlusion on, ray tracing quality ultra, apply, accept. I think it said I have to restart, right? Yes, okay, we'll restart. Oh yeah, I'll show the camera view. Hold on one sec. I'm waiting for the game to finish its thing. Okay, we'll go to side camera here. Go to play. And here's the new controller. There's a new scuff controller that we got here to go with it. Again, gray, red. Pretty cool, right? And it goes very well with our Robitech Tiki. Which is right there. Yeah, this thing is tiny. When you think about how big this is, like here you are looking at it. Here's here's a Tiki versus a laptop. I mean, it's not it's it's smaller than a PlayStation 5. This is not a big device at all. I don't know if we have a banana, but here's a water bottle for scale. Here's an iPhone for scale. You know what I mean? It's like the equivalent of two and a half iPhones. Yeah, it's, it's small. So yeah, just to give you an idea in terms of size, it's not big. This is me versus me. I need a Samsung for scale. Oh, a phone? Yeah, I don't have, I don't have a Samsung phone on me. Yeah, that's right. It's not the size, but how you use it. Okay, so this is... Here we go. This is in the... This is basically... Oh, let's turn on the right stuff here. And then we can, just for doing it. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. I do have I do have the Falcon DX that we've showed off on the show already, um, and so we've shown that we have we've shown a number of 4090 laptops. We have the MSI. I have the MSI. Uh, we have the MSI upstairs that we've checked out as well. So we have, do have Sometimes a number of 4090 laptops. Roads lead to wow! Look at the freaking VRAM. Using that, oh, it's, we, luckily we got 16 gigs. Let's 
This game is so pretty. House elves and wicked time. There we go. So yeah, there's Hogsmeade. There is, so that is Harry Potter. Nobody's painting today. Usually there's a painter during the night, during the day. But there it is with Hogwarts in the distance. There you go, guys. So that is all the games. Anything else you guys want to know about the, anything else you guys want to know about the Tiki or uh, the, uh, uh, any of the other stuff we showed off. We also showed off just to give, uh, just to give Aces some love. We showed off the ROG Ally as well. Um, but yeah, and then likes on YouTube. We didn't quite hit it. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, I want to run through real quick, just our sponsor for the show. We got, uh, we have 41 more likes we need to get, guys, and then we will call it for the thing. But I want to, I do want to go through our sponsor real quick and then go from there. So I'm going to shut this down and then we'll call it, we'll call it a, we'll call it a night. A night. So yes, and we'll, you know what, we'll run it, we'll run it on the Tiki. Uh, we played a little bit with it, but we're gonna. We'll when we get it back to the studio at Seattle, it's better equipped to basically do the ally stuff. So we showed it off a little bit, but we didn't do any game like real gameplay on it. We showed some, but it's it's hard to show here in the in the East Coast studio. But we do have it with, um, and we're playing around with it and um, the uh, the XG Mobile as well. So, um, but let's let's talk about our sponsor real quick, and then we'll get to our giveaways. Uh, we have until the end of the sponsorship to get our last likes, guys, or we're not going to do it. We'll just do the $25 new gift card, and then we'll give away the 3060 GPU. Okay, so you get finished, you're building a new PC, and you want to get a copy of Windows uh, for a nice, inexpensive price. Well, you know, usually Microsoft Windows, depending on which one you get, is anywhere between $100 and $150. But here at VIP slash GDKDeals.com, if you do a search for Windows, you can actually pick up a copy of Windows 11 for $31 and 31 dollars and 37 cents. But if you hit buy now and you use code RBCK at checkout and hit apply, what used to be $31 and 37 cents, you can actually pick up now for a whopping $21 and 96 cents. Same thing with Microsoft Office. If you want to go with, to, to, take a search at Office, here's Office 2021, regular $74.52. Uh, but you can actually pick it up here at RBC uh, at uh, VIP slash CDK deals instead of $74.52. Use the same thing, code RBCK at checkout. Hit apply. What was $74.52 drops down to $52.16. Again, great place to pick up. Uh, great place to pick up copies of Windows if you're looking for them. Uh, it makes it very inexpensive. We literally had thousands of people here on the channel who've used this. Um, and picked up copies of Windows and saved a ton of money. If you have questions, they have great customer service. If you have issues with the keys, uh, they can definitely help you out with those. These are OEM keys, so they do they are one one shot uses. We have verified with um, that these are legitimate purchases, um, and so uh, we're good to go. If you have any other questions, feel free to uh, just ask here within chat. We've literally had people buy tens, twenty, thirty codes. Uh, right off of this if you're curious. Anyway, guys, that is that is the deal for today uh, and our sponsor. And again, if you really wouldn't mind, uh, if you have any other questions about Falcon Northwest, uh, you can check them out, falconnorthwest.com. Uh, and you can check them out. They do sell laptops and desktops, but man, I will tell you their desktops. We ha I have literally their entire suite except for one. I don't, there's one 
One I don't have, and it makes a lot of sense. I, I have the Tiki, the Frag Box, the Talon, and I actually have their DRX uh, 4090. Um, so I have almost their entire family. Uh, the Talon is sitting on my set. The Frag Box is uh, literally powers most of our back-end streaming stuff. And then the Tiki is now going to be our travel uh, desktop system as well as the 4090 DRX system that is also with us as well, guys. But check them out, falconnorthwest.com. You will not be disappointed. I, I have no question about it uh, if you guys, uh, if you have any other um, things like that. And then again, they have amazing customer service. Uh, their customer service is on site in terms of available during certain times. If you have issues, they will help you fix it. But the problem is, is that these are bricks and they're made to last, which is amazing. So um, collect them all. That's right. I'm trying to collect them all. I've done it with at least four times the wind line, And there you go. Uh, guys, be sure to follow Falcon Northwest on socials. Uh, we, uh, for instance, we just got finished showing off a Talon that had, uh, that we did an over, they did an overclock Xenon, uh, Xeon processor, uh, got a Cinebench score of over 100K, pulling, what, 920 watts, guys. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it's over on Instagram, a little over 56,000 views right now. Um, but yes, they make incredible systems uh, and they really are passionate about the products that they make. Uh, and I have zero issue both with my name being on the product and then, of course, recommending it uh, time and time again, especially if you, ca uh, if you can't afford it. Um, anyway, guys, uh, let's see. Where did we finish on? For, where did we finish on likes? Did we end up getting it? Do 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 do. Or are we done? Are we gonna do one twenty-five dollar new gift card? I think we're gonna do one twenty-five dollar and we give away a thirty sixty. Okay. Well, okay. Then we'll do one twenty-five dollar new gift card and then we'll give away the thirty sixty. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody for tuning in today. Uh, giveaways, Cloudbot. Giveaways. Where are you? Okay, so first thing up, exclamation point new egg now for this one. Oh, uh, let's do exclamation point community actually. Exclamation point community starting right now, $25 new egg gift card up for grabs. Uh, two, min uh, two minutes, guys. And then remember, if you are a subscriber, you do get extra entries towards winning that GPU um, when we draw that in uh, just a few minutes there. Two minutes, guys. <clears throat> What a good show. Got to show off some really great stuff. I feel like it's playing and then now it's not playing. It's like something got weird here. I wonder if I muted it or... I don't know why it's not playing anymore. It was playing and then it stopped. Good luck, all. See how much time we got left. A minute left, guys. A minute 36 left. Now, uh, just while we're waiting for the last of this giveaway to go by, um, what's happening the rest of the week? There is no more streams until. Uh, until Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to be back checking out the new brand new Corsair 2000D. Uh, the build was actually supposed to happen on Tuesday last week, but unfortunately due to a UPS shipping issue, we had to push it out till uh, this week. So we'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, and then we have another stream next week on Friday, um, which will be the Intel morning show. We're trying to get add one more stream next week that'll happen from IEM, uh, all depending on what I can basically unlock for availability. It might just be a gaming stream. Uh, but there's only going to be one build stream next week. And then after that, we return to our regularly scheduled stuff as we get ready to get back into builds. we got some really great, um, we got some really great um, commission builds coming up, um, which should be a lot of fun. Um, and then the last thing is that we have, uh, we're going to be joining uh, some really cool stuff with Corsair uh, at the end of June, uh, hanging down and uh, hanging out with Origin PC again down in Miami. Um, 
And then again, we have some really amazing content coming out uh, here on the YouTube channel that you guys have to look forward to, including checking out the new Spider-Man uh, and Zotac collaboration, uh, a new NZXT buyer's guide for their new pre-built systems. Uh, and then lastly, just a really, really awesome uh, uh, Intel Evo uh, series that will be coming out uh, very, very soon as well. So we have a lot of really great content. Now, if you want to get more behind the scenes, like for instance, my really cool Spider-Man FX trick that we just did, uh, make sure that you tune in over at discord.gg slash Robitech. Uh, that's an amazing place to go ask questions. But also, if you're part of the Discord sub club, you get exclusive content, like for instance, uh, we got so many of these guys, uh, they got free tickets to go, God Intel God tickets uh, for Intel uh, for uh, IEM Dallas as well as we gave away uh, exclusive uh, d uh, Intel swag. Um, we're gonna give you, giving away TwitchCon swag, IEM swag, and you get uh, behind the scenes and uh, early access to videos, etc. So head over to discord.gg slash Robitech. Make sure you subscribe and join the sub club family uh, over on Discord as well. Okay, well drawing our winner, congratulations to Kurosaki. Kurosaki winning the $25 new gift card. That's amazing, you won, bro, congratulations. That's awesome. Okay, uh, next up, we're gonna complete that one. Next up is an RTX 3060. Get that one going here. There we go, and then we'll go ahead and go up here, and then exclamation for this one is gonna be exclamation Falcon Northwest. Falcon Northwest, uh, uh, Falcon NW, exclamation point Falcon NW is gonna be the entry for that. So uh, starting that giveaway, and remember, uh, subscribers, you do get extra entries. All you gotta do is use your sub, uh, all you gotta do is use your uh, Amazon Prime sub and uh, you're entered, you get an extra entry towards that stuff, guys. Exclamation point, Falcon Northwest, giving away an RTX 3060 International. You can apply, but if you win, you have to pay for shipping and taxes uh, in your country. So that is the deal if you wanna do inter internationally. So there it is. Two minutes, guys. Oh, wow, why are all these at three minutes? Three minutes, guys. I'm trying to think of anything else that's super cool. I mean, again, we have some, I mean, Computex news, obviously all that Computex stuff uh, pops out here very, very soon. So if you wanna check that stuff out, that's gonna be happening, big news there. We have Diablo 4 just on the horizon coming out July, uh, June 6th. Uh, really, really excited for that. Uh, and then again, we're gonna try, but we're, we're uh, uh, if you wanna head over to uh, Discord, they're also looking and you're in the Dallas area. Um, we're coordinating a meet and greet um, since I'll be in the Dallas area, 4 a.m. So if you want to do a meet and greet, hang out, say hi, and uh, check things out, that's going to be happening also, and that's going to be happening next weekend in Dallas. So if you're in the Midwest and you want to come hang out, that is definitely the opportunity to do so. So. Okay, two, we have just under two minutes left on the giveaway, guys. Oh no, did I spell it? I did spell it right, right? Dang it, did I spell it wrong? Okay, stopping it. That's not right. Closing, closing, closing. It's Falcon, not Flacken, sorry. I'm also gonna set it for two minutes. Yeah, two minutes, okay, confirm. Okay, starting that again. Two minutes, why does it keep saying three minutes? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, here we go. Falcon, exclamation point, Falcon NW, not Flacken. It's like, what? Why is it, why is it wrong? That should not be the way it is.
and that is that is as they see all of it. I cannot believe how absolutely terrible, guys, Gollum was. I wonder if I, how do you even do a, let me see how this, Lord of the, where's Lord of the Rings Gollum? Where's that game? H-I, how do I, how do I, ref, how do I ask for a refund? This game is so bad. Um, support. Wait, I, this, like, gameplay, I want a permanent remove this game from my account. Oh, I am, I want a refund. I don't want to, I want to. Oh, there we go. Return to my PayPal. There we go. This game is not fun. Submit. Hey, I did it. <laughs> There you go. Okay, one minute left, guys. One minute. I've never done. I've never done that. I've never given a game. I've never sold a game. I've never asked for a refund. But that one, I was like, nope, not doing it. Not gonna do it. No new taxes. Was there no fifty R new gift for the? No, because that went towards the GPU. Oh, you know what? You're right. We do have the fifty dollar one. Yeah, we'll do the fifty dollar one. Sorry. Uh, we've been playing. I haven't played it enough to do a deep dive quite yet. So, yeah, good catch on that one, guys. Okay, one minute left. God, this is taking forever. Oh, it, it's over. Okay, never mind. Congratulations to and he and Ahio and in ho twelve. And in ho twelve. You are the winner of the new You know what? Honestly, guys, we're gonna have to do a 20, we're gonna have to do a second $25 new gift card. Uh no. Okay, so we only had. So essentially, no, I did you a giveaway. So here's how we're gonna do it right. The $50 Nui gift card will go to Kurosaki because I didn't, we never unlocked any $25 ones. So no, Kurosaki got a $50 one and this gentleman won the $3060. So that's how it worked. Sorry, we, we only had the $50. So Kurosaki wins the $50 and then the uh, $3060 goes to GPU. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, because we only, we never unlocked any other ones. So yeah. There was not a YouTube win this time, no, but we uh, we never got the 250 likes. Yeah. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode of Robitech. Uh, huge shout out to obviously Falcon Northwest for getting up. We are gonna be doing a full review of the Tiki as well. So if you want full details and a closer teardown and all that sort of stuff that is coming, uh, but we definitely wanted to make sure that we got as much coverage of this as we possibly could and wanted to do a dedicate a whole live episode to this as well. Again, returning on Tuesday uh, for a full build on the Corsair 2000D, that stream and all that sort of stuff is up if you wanna go check out all the details of that, including what we're putting inside of it. Uh, and then we are back uh, Friday for I Am Dallas uh, for the Intel Morning Show. We're gonna be doing live streaming and hopefully maybe even a live stream live from I Am just for us to hang out and play some games. Outside of that, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, sorry, rest of the, well, no, have the great rest of your weekend, what little is left um, for those you're still in there. And we will see you guys on Tuesday back on the West Coast Studio. Thanks, guys, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And it didn't go to opening. I'll go to opening. If you'd like a written transcript of tonight's Roby Tech broadcast, please contact Blondie But Geeky. She'll be happy to give you a notepad and a pen so you can start writing down everything you hear.
Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even Zars, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Channel points.